101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville. And you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, a pleasant good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball here on 101.7 KSAM. And the Bearcat Sports Network. Welcome into the Copeland Family Dentistry Broadcast Booth. I'm Rob Pip. We are live this afternoon from the William R. Johnson Coliseum in beautiful Nacogdoches, Texas. Today, it's one of the oldest rivalries in the state of Texas, dating back to 1924. The 14th ranked Sam Houston Bearcats are set to battle the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks. When we come back, we'll talk more about this Southland Conference contest. We'll discuss keys to victory and much more. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Hot Rods of Texas presents the Winter Conroe Swap Meet and Car Corral February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairground. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to hotrodsoftexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas Winter Swap Meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. Have you wanted to speak a new language, but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and campouts. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now, no experience required, paid training, the signing bonus of up to $5,000 apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Well, a beautiful rendition of our country's national anthem. Welcome back to Nacogdoches, Texas, as we are moments away from Sam Houston versus Stephen F. Austin men's basketball right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. The Bearcats are looking for redemption this season after dropping both contests to the Jacks last year. 
The first, it was a 76-81 loss at Bowers in Huntsville, and then a 57-68 disembarkment in Nacogdoches in the final game of the regular season. Since 1924, the record for the back, Bearcats is at 100 wins and 109 losses in this rivalry. The Lumberjacks, known as Press U, run a fast-paced, defensive-minded game plan that focuses on speeding up opposing teams and forcing mistakes. Well, this opens the floor for transition baskets. We'll see quite a few of those in this one. The Lumberjacks, well, they talk about boasting their fast, athletic players who can take advantage of open spaces. The Jacks return a pair of 30-game starters from last season and five seniors. SFA was picked to win the Southland in the preseason coaches poll, receiving 17 of the 26 possible first-place votes. The game today is also nationally televised on ESPNU. The Lumberjacks play well on ESPN televised games, compiling a 19-1 record last year, 8-3 so far this season. Well, friends, however, Stephen F. Austin, they have not faced a team in the Southland like the Bearcats yet this season. A competent and balanced offense by the Bearcats led by Southland leading scorer Zach Nuttall, who is averaging 20 points a game. Demarcus Lampley has also been a threat to opposing teams, coming off a short-lived season-ending knee injury last year that took him out of the final three games. Well, he's lighting up the hardwood this season, averaging 16 points a game. He, along with Nuttall, are one of the top five NCAA scoring duos in the nation, accounting for more than 40% of Sam Houston's scoring. Lampley leads the South and also from behind the arc, shooting 43% from downtown. Well, the Bearcats are a team surrounded by young talent, along with the freshman rocket man Bryce Monroe and Jarrett Light the Stove Cook. And the Cats are in prime position to continue their domination in the Southland this year and beyond. SFA enters this afternoon's contest holding a 9-3 overall record, 5-1 in the Southland. Their lone conference loss was just this past Wednesday with a deflating 62-82 flattening by the Abilene Christian and on the road in Abilene. A rating Southland Coach of the Year, head coach Kyle Keller, a 1990 Oklahoma State alumni boasting a 97 win, 44 loss record in five seasons here at SFA. Now, last year, arguably one of the best Finishing 28 and 3, 19 and 1 in the conference, including upsetting then number one Duke on the road, 85 to 83. Well, Sam Houston remains undefeated in the Southland at 7-0. Overall, the Cats 13-5 riding in here this afternoon on a 10-game winning streak into this storied rivalry. On Wednesday, Sam Houston held on to defeat Texas A&M Corpus in Corpus, 75-70. Head coach Jason Hooten in his 11th season at head coach holds a 210 win and 143 loss record. We're about three minutes to go before tip-off here in Nacogdoches. Stay with us. We'll be right back with starting lineups and the tip-off on the Bearcat Sports Network. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment is proud to now carry Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company is veteran-owned. They are producing premium coffee for people who love America. With every purchase of Black Rifle Coffee, Black Rifle gives back to veterans, law enforcement, and first responders. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call the shop at 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. Pros bring something extra to every job. Now at the Home Depot, they also get something extra. Pro Extra, our free loyalty program built for pros just like you. Members earn perks with every dollar spent, like Pro Extra dollars, a tool rental credit, and more. New members get $20 off their next in-store purchase of $200 or more just for signing up. Learn more at homedepot.com slash pro extra. New year, more rewards, Pro Extra, only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphaderalabs.com. That's alphaderalabs.com. New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, Clem Mack here with Weezer in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals like a 2020 Blazer and get up to $5,000 in rebate or a 2020 Equinox and get up to $6,250 in rebate. If you need a heavy duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Weezer in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line or online at WeezerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new road. Courage. 
integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required. Paid training. The signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Copeland Family Dentistry Broadcast Booth at William R. Johnson Coliseum here in Nacogdoches, Texas. Today it's men's basketball. Stephen F. Austin hosting the Bearcats. And we are set for a great one here in Southland Conference play. I want to remind you that our fan text line is open for text messaging. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where you're listening from this afternoon. You can text us at 512-522-9105. Again, that number, 512 512- 522-9105. Also, this game being nationally televised on ESPNU. So for those of you that are choosing to join us on the radio, we appreciate your listenership. But again, you can catch it also on the TV screen this afternoon. We are moments away from tip-off as we'll go over the starting lineups here for this Lumberjack team. We'll start things with a six foot three. 187-pound senior guard at a Morton, Mississippi, Morton High School, a transfer from East Central Community College. It's number two, Rati Ware, a six-foot-four, 216-pound senior guard out of Little Rock, Arkansas, and T- Tyler Junior College, number three, Cameron Johnson, a six-foot-one, 170-pound senior guard out of Pennsylvania and Mineral Area College. It's number four, David Cackleries. A six foot seven, 194 pound sophomore forward out of Houston, Texas from Klein Forest High School, number 13, Calvin Solomon. And last but certainly not least for the Lumberjacks of Stephen F. Boston, a six foot seven, 260 pound senior forward out of Suriname, Navarro College, it's number 14, Gavin Kinsmill. So again, for the Jacks, it is Ware, Johnson, Kakarese, Solomon, and Kinsmill. For your Sam Houston State Bearcats, Entering on a 10-game winning streak, leading the Southland at 7-0. We'll start things with the Southland Player of the Week named this season from Phoenix City, Alabama. Transfer from Wallace State. It's a 6'2", 170-pound senior guard, number three, Demarcus Lampley. A two-time Southland Player of the Week this year. A 185-pound sophomore guard standing at 6'3", out of Bryan, Texas, from Bryan High School, number 10, Zach Nuttall. A six foot two, 190 pound junior guard from Chicago, Illinois, transfer from Colby Community College, number 11, Javion May. A six foot six, 210 pound junior forward out of Deer Park, Texas, and Blinn Junior College. He was also on the Jason Hooten radio show this past week, number 12, Tristan Ikpe. A six foot two, 180 pound junior guard from Starkville, Mississippi, East Mississippi Community College, number 24, Dante Powers. So again, for your Bearcats, it is Lampley, Nuttall, May, Ikpe, and Powers. Those are your starting lineups. We're moments away from tip-off. We'll take 30 seconds. When we come back, we'll have the tip-off right here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Hot Rods of Texas presents the winter Conroe Swap Meet and Car Corral February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairground. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to hotrodsoftexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas winter swap meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. All right, friends, welcome back. Rob Hip here live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth set for an exciting afternoon of men's college basketball here on the Bearcat Sports Network and 1017 KSAM. Already have some friends joining us. Uh, Mr. Ken Holland saying have a great call. Let's get the big road win. Appreciate you, Ken, and also our good friend Harvey Vanacek watching as well on our Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast in the booth shot here this afternoon. Also want to thank some more sponsors helping to make this ball game possible here on KSAM. Dakri BB, Abby Realty's Huntsville's real estate expert. Copeland Family Dentistry, wonderfully made. Moke and Moke Attorneys at Law for your estate planning, real estate, or business law leads. Ask for Moke and Moke Attorneys at Law, serving Huntsville since 1971. True Texas Barbecue, smoked with Texas oak wood for up to 14 hours. Barbecue by the plate or pound. 
plus delicious sides like brisket, beans, cream corn, potato salad, and coleslaw. It's Texas, true Texas barbecue. And last but certainly not least, a special thank you to Charlie's Used Cars. Customer satisfaction is number one priority. Sam Houston in their road black jerseys and black shorts. The numbers in orange outlined in white. Sammy the walking Bearcat logo on the front. The numbers on the back also with the SH logo. And for the Jacks in their white jerseys, white shorts, lettering in outlined in purple, and the numbers in solid purple. Opening to tip is controlled by the Jacks. They'll move from right to left. We are on the far left sideline just as we were for the women's game just yesterday. The Jacks have it here on the left side, trying to work inside as Solomon, and he'll go back up top over the left wing to Rati Ware. Ware guarded by Javion May. With the left-handed dribble, he'll take a three-pointer to start this game. This shot not there. Oh, diving in is Zach Nuttall getting the rebound. We'll move it here from left to right for the Bearcats. It's over to Dante Powers on that left wing as he'll try to look for penetration inside. A little swing pass over to Nuttall. Nuttall from the right elbow, two-pointer. This shot rattles in and out, won't fall. Nuttall had his struggles early against Texas a of Corpus. Finally found some rhythm. We'll see if he can find it here early in this one as it's back to the Lumberjacks on the left side. Remember, they lost to Abilene Christian by 20 points on Wednesday, so they're looking to get back into their winning ways. Floating this one inside, the shot not there. Great defense by the Cats. And this uh, foul here on the court, we'll see who this one's on. It may have been against, well, it's going to go against, it uh, looks like the Lumberjacks here. JV on May was in that area. No, it is on JV on May. JV on May lined up on the baseline to inbound it. It is a first personal, the first team foul on the Bearcats. will go against JV on May. So the Jacks will inbound here. 20 seconds on the shot clock on that right baseline. Over to the right corner. Swings this ball around top over to Johnson. Now to the left wing to Kakarese. He's guarded by Javion May. The ball back up top to Solomon. Quick right-handed pass goes over to that right wing. Swinging around now Johnson to the top. Kakarese left wing three. Shot not there off the back of the rim. And here's Lampley trying to bring in a rebound. It goes out of bounds. It will stay. Or it will go to Sam Houston. The ball was knocked away by Calvin Solomon. No score as we're over a minute gone here in the first half in Nacogdoches. Inbound pass from Nuttall goes to Powers in the backcourt. He will gracefully walk his way across the Stephen F. logo at center court. Has a right-handed dribble. Cacklery's guarding him. Looking over to that right wing. He'll rotate back up top with the left-handed dribble. Finds Lampley. Lampley trying to work. Long two-point shot. Oh, and one as Lampley falls back, nails the jumper, and he'll go to the line early here for an and one opportunity. It's Demarcus Lampley turning on the lights early here in Nacogdoches, Texas. Boy, we talk about Demarcus Lampley as he has had multiple back-to-back 20-point -back games. I believe six of his last seven over 20 points. Lampley has continued to be a force this season for the Bearcats. He'll go to the line here to shoot the end one from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. Talking about Demarcus Lampley, an 80% free throw shooter. The right-handed shot rolls in and good. Boy, it kept spinning around the world and said, I'm going to drop in for you. And that one dropped right there for Lamp. 3-0 early score. Bearcats take the first lead. 18-27 to go here in the first. As the Lumberjacks will bring it from right to left. It's Cacklerese here on the near side. Now back up top. A quick chest pass goes to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Nuttall. Right-handed pass over to the right corner into the hands of Rati Ware. This one knocked away. Powers has it on the court. Back to JV on May. It's a turnover. The Bearcats have it on the far side from left to right. Is May trying to stiff his left hand through Kakarese. High screen here. Ikpe. The pass knocked away. Kakarese has to steal. He'll go up top here to Kinsmill and he'll lay it up off the right side. So the Lumberjacks getting on the board now, trailing by one. Sam holding a 3-2 advantage, 17-46 to go here in the first. As Dante Powers with a right-handed dribble now back behind his back, swinging over to the right side. He'll drop it off over to Lamp, over to Nuttall. Nuttall inside the paint from the left elbow. Here's a three by May. This shot won't fall. It's a rare three there. Don't see JV on May take too many of them. He's only one for seven this season. Thought he had a lane there, but just could not find it. 3-2, Lumberjacks back over on the left side, trailing by one, a three from the right corner here. Cackle no good, and Kinsmill with an over-the-back foul. It's the second foul against the Lumberjacks. Kinsmill went over the back trying to get that rebound, and that'll be his first personal and the second team foul. So the Bearcats here trying to capitalize, holding on to that one-point advantage, 3-2. Again, 17-17 to go here in the first. Again, want to welcome you into the broadcast. Thanks to everyone who is joining us here 
on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Had a couple of messages. I appreciate folks out there that are listening. Some folks even said they're syncing us up on the TV screen, so we appreciate you joining us. Back over to Dante Powers on that left wing for the Cats. He'll drop this one to Nuttall. Turn around jumper for two. Long two-pointer. That shot not there. The ball bouncing around. It eventually goes to Demarcus Lampley for McPay. Lampley has it. Takes another long jumper. This one rattles in and out. It was identical to the last shot that he had an and one on. This time, though, it would not fall, and a foul called here against the Cats. We'll see who this one goes on. It's on Tristan Ikpe. It's his first personal and the second team foul for the Cats. 3-2, Bearcats leading by one, 16.52 to go here in the first in Nacogdoches. Inbounding on the Bearcats' right baseline is Calvin Solomon. He'll get it quickly over to Rati Ware. Ware guarded by Lampley. Yes, he'll move it across the SFA logo at midcourt. The left-handed dribble crosses it over to his right hand. Rotates over to the right wing. Has his dribble down, still on the court. Can still move with it here. Rotates to the left wing. Now he'll swing this one back up top. He'll find, I believe it's Charlie Daniels who checked in moments ago. Over to the right wing into the hands of Hawkins. It's five seconds on the shot clock and a foul called here against Stephen F. No, it's going to go on Zach Nuttall. Boy, that's a tough one because the shot clock was down to five, so that'll put it back at 20. It's the first personal for Zach Nuttall and the third team foul. 16-26 to go here in the first. Lumberjacks inbounding just in front of the Bearcats bench on the left side. This pass goes quickly to Ware. Ware goes back up top over to Solomon, trying to feed down low to Daniels. Daniels had the position, lost it. The ball rolling around. Hawkins has it back. Now Solomon inside the paint. Shot no good. A lot of effort here. This ball knocked out of bounds, and they'll say it went off of Zach Nuttall. Great defensive effort here by the Bearcats as they rejected several shots. And the Jacks, though, will get it right back here as it went out of bounds. 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Inbounding on the right baseline under his own rim is Hawkins. Hawkins looking for a teammate. He'll find that teammate on the right corner. It's into the hands of Ware. Ware takes a floater this up and drops it off. The assist trying to go inside to Daniels. He missed the shot, but the second effort was there. So the Jacks will take their first advantage here. Four to three, Bearcats trailing by one. 15.50 to go here in the first. It is Powers to the left side. Aggressive move. Oh, what a run there by Dante Powers to lay it in off the left side. Like seeing that early here by Powers. Bearcats regain the lead, five to four. Jacks back with it on the left side. At the top, trying to feed down low, Solomon. And Javion May hit the deck hard. The foul gonna be on, more than likely on Javion May as the officials are talking this one over. Some moisture down there on the court. We'll step aside and take our first media timeout. 15.36 to go here in the first, five to four. Sam Houston leads. We'll be back in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Network. Have you wanted to speak a new language, but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Back in action from Nacogdoches, Texas in a socially distanced packed house here at William R. Johnson Coliseum on the road. Five to four Bearcats with a one point advantage. Welcome back to the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your afternoon with us. Sam Houston coming out of the gates here trying to find some rhythm to get started as they are holding on right now with that one point advantage. So far, no team, though, able to get much going from the three-point land. The Bearcats have only put up one. It was J.B. on May who took a rare three-point attempt and missed it from the left corner to start this ball game a little bit earlier. And then for the Lumberjacks of Stephen F. Austin shooting 0 for 3, Bearcats 2 of 6 from the field so far before that first timeout we took just a moment ago. They're 1 for 1 as Lampley 
completed an and one play there from that Charlie's used car free throw line. On the flip side, Stephen F. Boston, they're only shooting 25%, two of eight from the field. And that's about all that they've got going right now. You know, we talk about these two teams and they're pretty evenly matched. I was talking things over with Cody Sark a little early. Appreciate him and his accessibility this season and all that he does to help us with our information, but these teams are pretty evenly matched. You talk about two teams that are averaging right around 82 or so points a game from the free throw line. It's an area that both teams have quite frankly struggled with, shooting around 66%. Sam Houston has a slight a rebounding edge of 37 per game compared to 34 for Stephen F. And then Stephen F. Austin, of course, a lot of bigger bodies. This Sam Houston team, a very small team as far as the height goes. So, of course, they're not going to lead in categories like blocks. Stephen F. has them on that advantage. But on the steals, you talk about a shorter team with a lot of speed, especially the freshman Bryce Monroe, who's out there now, almost nine steals a game. So we're back in action here. The Lumberjacks will inbound over to Rare on that Left corner, trying to work through. Lampley with good defense here on that left wing. Bounce pass going down inside over to Kinsmill. He's double teamed. Pump fakes this one away, gets it over to the right side. Now into the hands of Kakaris. Kakaris over to Ware. Ware on the left corner. And good defense continues here for the Bearcats. One on the shot clock. He's got to get it up at the buzzer. That shot good. Boy, David Kakaris averages 10 a game, and he just nailed a three-pointer as time expired. He's a 41% free throw shooter, one of the best on the team, and that's why right there. So with pressure in his face, able to drill that three. They may have only called it a, no, they called it a three. Six to five is what's showing on the board here. It's actually seven to five. So seven to five the score. Bearcats back with it on the right side. A jumper here from the left elbow. That shot, yes, it's good for Dante Powers. Well, I guess they... Officially, they took it away here. They, they said it was a three originally. Now they took it off. So it is six to five. And now back the other way, uh, the Bear, the Lumberjacks able to drop one in. I believe that was Gavin Kinsmill. Eight to seven, Bearcats trailing by one. So they've got it back on the right side. As Dante Bryce Monroe actually had it, tried to feed it down low, and that ball got knocked away. Two on one, lay it up and good here for the Jacks. Gavin Kinsmill, or Gavin Kinsmill, beg your pardon. 10 to seven, three point advantage now here for the Lumberjacks. Quickly back over to the right side is Dante Powers on the left wing, working a right handed dribble, goes back to top. He'll take a straightaway three. This shot off the right side, no good there for Powers. He's a 39% free throw shooter, missed that one though. He's taken quite a few of them this season. Ball feeding down low here, turn around jumper off the right side, no good, but a foul on Gavin Ken Kinsmill and he'll go to the line shooting too. Well, the Jacks making four of their last five shots. Currently on a little bit of a run here, now leading 10 to seven. And Gavin Kinsmill out the line here to shoot two. The six foot seven senior forward, a 64% free throw shooter entering this afternoon's contest, 51 of 80 this season. He'll take three right-handed dribbles, bends his knees, the right-handed shot on the way, and this one good, he nails the first one. 11 to seven, largest lead continuing to extend here for the Lumberjacks. As substitution on the court, Tristan Ikpe will head over to the bench alongside Bryce Monroe. And checking in for the first time this afternoon is Manny Crump and I believe it's the freshman out there, it is Jaron Cook. So it's Cook, Lampley, Nuttall, Crump and in the backcourt is Dante Power. Second free throw here on the way by the Jacks. This one good as well for Gavin Kinsmill. So he makes both of them. 12 to seven, Bearcats trailing by five. 13.46 to go here in this first half of play. It's not all will inbound. Over to Dante Powers. Powers walking his way into the front court now across mid-stripe. On the near side, now to the right wing. Has his dribble back to the left hand. Bounce pass goes down to Crump on that right corner near the baseline. Crump trying to work his way through two defenders. Loses the ball on the floor and still trying to haul on to it. We'll see here a jump ball arrow and the possession will stay with Sam Houston. So the Bearcats here struggling a little bit early as they're still trying to find some sort of a rhythm to get into this ball game. Again, trailing by five, 12 to seven, 13, 28 to go here in this first. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Dante powers to inbound on the right baseline. Up high over to Crump. 
Crump on the right wing, finds Dante Powers. Back up top over the left wing, around we go to Lampley. Lampley bounce pass down to Nuttall. Nuttall trying to work it from the baseline. Left shot, this one no good on the left side. Ball bouncing around, Crump fighting for it. The ball still in the hands, and it goes out. That'll go right back to Sam Houston. That's one thing about the Bearcats here, though. Even though they're missing some shots, they're showing a lot of tenacity back on that side of trying to haul in these boards and, and get things rolling here and able to get this one back. Zach Nuttall will inbound on the sideline. Quick chest pass goes up top over to Powers. For the right-handed dribble, he's guarded by Solomon. Here's Jaron Cook trying to light the stove. Boom, he does it, baby. Jaron Cook lighting the stove early. That's his first three-pointer. 12 to 10, that was a Moke and Moke attorney at law, three point shot, now back the other way, left side, good defense here, bounce pass goes over to Hawkins, he'll take a three, this shot good. Hawkins able to nail that one, here's Lampley back to the right side quickly, Lampley trying to penetrate from the right baseline, loses his handle and it goes out of bounds. Lampley turns it over, maybe a little bit of too much in the juice there for Demarcus Lampley. 15 to 10. Lumberjacks leading here with 12.42 to go in the first. As the Jacks will bring it into the front court, working a crossover dribble is David Kakaris, the senior. Guarded by Powers. Uses the left hand to create some separation. They let him get away with a little bit of that. Back up top, ball rolling around here to Johnson on the left wing. Now down to Solomon on the left baseline. Turn around, has a wide open. Oh, it's blocked! Where did Dante Powers come from as he smacked it out of here? Going up for the shot. Was Nana Antwibosiako, and boy, he got that one knocked away by Dante Powers. Nana had no, uh, no idea anyone was behind him. It is back to the Lumberjacks here, though. Three on the shot clock. Hawkins will take an awkward jumper. The shot no good. The rebound into the hands of Manny Crump. On the near side, here's Powers. Pushing it back over to the far side from left to right. The right-handed dribble trying to penetrate inside. Powers right side. Oh, he's, oh, he hit the deck hard. Dante Powers hit the deck hard, and he immediately bounced up. And thank goodness he is okay. He was fouled on that shot. But he hit the deck hard. It almost looked like from here his head bounced on that court. And luckily he hopped right back up and was able to run off. It'll take us to another break here. 15 to 10, Sam Houston with the ball and shots coming up on the Bearcats Sports Network. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, the signing bonus of up to $5,000 apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment is proud to now carry Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company is veteran-owned. They are producing premium coffee for people who love America. With every purchase of Black Rifle Coffee, Black Rifle gives back to veterans, law enforcement, and first responders. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call the shop at 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. 15 to 10, Lumberjacks leading here, 11.59 to go in the first. Welcome back, live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth here in Nacogdoches, Texas, as we're still in the middle of a media timeout. I wanted to thank more folks joining us. Vincent Robertson joining us on the social media feed, saying go Cats from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Appreciate you, Vincent. Again, thanks for joining us. Shirley Hip, my mother, joining us back in the Austin, Texas area. Appreciate you, Mom. Love you. Glad you're joining us today. Also, our good friend Joshua Harris. From the Oak Ridge Disciple House saying have a great call. Josh, appreciate you. How about Jamie Gonzalez joining us on, uh, maybe Jaime Gonzalez joining us on YouTube, on the YouTube stream coming in from the In the Booth broadcast shot. Thanks for joining us. And last but certainly not least, as we get to him, uh, Rhonda Ellisor saying go Bearcats, wish we were there. Thank you. Keep those comments coming in, and we'll keep talking about them here. 15 to 10, Lumberjacks leading by five. As we come out of the timeout here, Sam Houston, Got to find some sort of rhythm as uh, they have struggled here early. But you talk about great plays by Dante Powers. I don't want to put him down. Just talking about Dante Powers leading the pack right now. In eight minutes, he has four points. 
and he'll step up here coming out of this timeout to the Charlies to use cars at free throw line. So Dante Powers standing on the right side. He'll take a deep breath. You can see it in his shoulders. He'll bend his knees. The right-handed free throw shot is good. So he makes the first one from that Charlie's Deuce Cars free throw line. He'll have another opportunity here. Dante Powers, a 74% free throw shooter. As Gavin, Gavin Kinsmill will come in for Nana. He'll head back over to the bench. Powers making the first free throw moments ago. Bryce Monroe set to check in. Second free throw won't fall. Bounced around, and the Jacks have it. Goes over to Ware. Ware in the backcourt, moving from right to left with a right-handed dribble. He'll cross back over to the left side. Still has his dribble here on the left wing. Guarded by Lampley. Trying to move through a high screen. It's not there. Still has his dribble. Ware back up at the top over to Solomon. Guarded by Nuttall. Drop pass goes back over to Ware. Ware on the left wing. He's working to dribble here. Pass quickly goes over to Johnson on the right wing. Now to the right elbow. He'll take a jumper from the free throw line. Two seconds on the shot clock. It shot won't fall, but the offensive rebound back over to Solomon. Solomon trying to dance his way inside. Instead passes out over to Hawkins. Now down low. The pass goes to Kinsmill. He puts up a shot. It's missed. Manny Crump was down there with a partial block possibly. Goes back over to Dante Powers moving from left to right. Here's Lampley over to Jaron Cook on the right corner. Jaron takes one dribble. Around the world we go to Lampley. Now to Nuttall on the left wing. Nuttall waiting on a play to develop, trying to get his teammate set up. It's Manny Crump on a give and go. Instead, this one knocked away, and the Lumberjacks all ahead here, laying it up easily off the right side is Cameron Johnson. 17 to 11. It's a six-point Lumberjack advantage with 10.50 to go here in the first. Nuttall has it on the left wing. He'll step back, goes way too high to Crump, turned it over. Boy, hey, that one went right into the hands of Solomon. Here's the Lumberjacks. It's aware on the left wing and a foul called here against the Cats. We'll see who this one's on. Zach Nuttall will call all of his teammates into the paint. They're going to huddle up and have a quick conversation here as Nuttall just trying to get the nerves calm from his guys saying, look, guys, you know, we're undefeated 7-0 in the south, and there's a reason for that. Let's regain our composure here as Terriante Thomas will check in for the first time tonight. Dante Powers over to the bench. So it is Thomas alongside Bryce Monroe, Manny Crump, Jaron Cook, and Lampley out there for Sam Houston. As Nuttall went over to the bench as well here. Cats back over right side. Floater is good for Cacleris. David Cacleris made it look easy off that left side. Eight point Lumberjack advantage. Terriante Thomas has it way out there on the left wing. Working a right-handed dribble, picks it up at the top. Monroe, this ball knocked away, and another turnover goes out of bounds. Coach Hooten's had enough as he will reach over to the official, and he calls timeout. Hooten not happy with the play of his teammates right now, or with his team right now. We'll step aside for 30 seconds, 19 to 11, 10, 14 to go. Lumberjacks have it when we come back on the Bearcat Sports Network. Pros bring something extra to every job. Now at the Home Depot, they also get something extra. Pro Extra, our free loyalty program built for pros just like you. Members earn perks with every dollar spent, like Pro Extra dollars, a tool rental credit, and more. New members get $20 off their next in-store purchase of 200 or more just for signing up. Learn more at homedepot.com slash pro extra. New year, more rewards, Pro Extra, only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. 19 to 11, a 7-1 run for the Jacks over the last two and a half minutes or so. And holding on to that eight point advantage now, 10-14 to go here in the first as we come out of that timeout just moments ago. Jacks will inbound just in front of us here on the left side. Pass goes over to Ware on the left wing as he's guarded by Lampley up top to Kinsmill. Now the right wing three, the shot good for Cacleries. Boy, Cacaris cannot be denied so far this early afternoon. He's got nine points, and it's 11 a point advantage. Here's Bryce Monroe, left side up high. The shot not there. Crump skyrocketing to the air. The put back and one for Manny Crump. That effort there by the six foot eight junior finally puts an end to that 7 0 scoring run. The Cats had not scored in two minutes. Manny Crump had had enough, and he'll go to the line here for that Charlie's used cars free throw and one opportunity. Dante Powers checking back into the game for Jaron Cook. It is Lampley, Monroe, Powers, Manny Crump out there on the court for the Cats. 
alongside Terry Ante Thomas. Crump trying to complete the end one, the free throw, good. So Manny Crump making it. And Stephen F. back with it here, leading 22 to 14, 930 to go in the first. It's into the hands of Cacoris. He's been the hot hand. Got to watch him as he steps back from straight away over to the right wing into the hands of Ware. Ware guarded by Lampley. Takes one dribble, finds Hawkins going left baseline and a bump and foul here called on Dante Powers. Well, I thought it was on Powers. It is on Dante Powers. That is his first personal, the seventh team foul already. So the Jacks are now in the bonus as they'll shoot the rest of this 9.25. So at the line is Nigel Hawkins, a six foot four junior guard, a 62% free throw shooter. He'll bend his knees here on the front end. The right handed free throw is good. He'll get another opportunity. Kakaris has made four of his last five. The Jacks, three of their last four shots. Next free throw here. This one falls in as well for Hawkins. 10-point Lumberjack advantage. Bearcats trailing 24-14, 9.22 to go here in the first. It's Monroe has it to Powers on the right wing. Trying to swing around a high Manny Crump screen. Now over to the left, Bryce Monroe takes a long shot. Good at the bottom of the net for Bryce Monroe. Monroe from downtown. They'll give him three. And the freshman, as we call him Rocket Man here, you can see it when he starts to run fast, nails a huge three-pointer there for Sam Houston. The Bearcats needed something, and Monroe giving them a little bit of an edge here. 24 to 17 on that Moke and Moke attorney at law three pointer. Bearcats trailing by seven, 909 to go here in the first. As the Jacks will inbound on the Bearcats right baseline. Solomon gets it up over to Ware. Ware guarded by Lampley on the far side. As he'll now work his dribble across the center court line on the F of the SFA logo. He'll rotate to the left, drives inside the paint, flip, dip, good off the right side. Easy does it for Arati Ware. 26-17, Bearcats trailing, 8.50 to go in the first. Monroe brings it into the front court at the top as he'll find Terriante Thomas. Thomas, he's trapped. Back over to Monroe, now back to Thomas. He'll go left baseline, jumper, yes, good! That shot falls in for Terriante Thomas. 26 to 19, quickly up front. This ball knocked away by Dante Powers. Good defense there as Charlie Daniels was leading the pack up front, a little bit in front of him, and Dante Powers able to knock that one out of bounds with four seconds gone off the shot clock. 26 seconds on the shot clock here for the Jacks as Hawkins will head back over to the bench. Johnson checking in for him. Inbounding is Kakoris on his own side of the court here on the left side. Kakoris. Goes up to Daniels. Daniels, this one knocked off of Crump. It's into the hands of Dante Powers, one-on-one. -on -one. He'll flip it. Yes, that shot falls for Dante Powers, and he's coming alive here in the first. 26-21, Bearcats finding some rhythm. Trailing by five, 8-17 to go here in the first. It's Cacoris on the right wing. Goes up top to Solomon. Solomon picks up his dribble, now puts it down into the court with a left-handed dribble. Going inside the blocking foul called here. Oh, man, against Bryce Monroe. Bryce was outside the semicircle. He may have been shifting just a little bit too late. And the, off, the foul is called there. We'll look at it on the replay. Oh, man, that was close. If anything, he was just a half second or a fraction of a second too early on his slide. So that will put the Jacks at the line here, shooting two. It's the eighth team foul. The foul there, of course, on Bryce Monroe. First free throw is good for Calvin Solomon. Solomon with his first points of this ball game played in 10 minutes. Lampley will head back over to the bench. Zach Nuttall checks in for him, and he'll get a high five from Terry Ante Thomas inside the key. It is Nuttall, Thomas, Crump, and Powers inside the free throw lane. Second free throw on the way for Solomon. This one good as well. 28-21, seven-point advantage for the Jacks. 8.08 to go here in the first. As Dante Powers will inbound this ball, he's having a friendly chatter there with the official and he'll inbound it over to Bryce Monroe Monroe on the far side will move this one from left to right Monroe turning on the juice here to the right wing he'll retreat back out now up top Monroe left-handed dribble goes over to Thomas on the right wing Thomas 
looking down to Crump. Crump trying to find some sort of a post down there on that right baseline, working a left-handed dribble. Turn around, he'll put up the shot. Oh, that one falls for Manny Crump. Wow, what a shot as Manny Crump spun around 180, going backwards, dropped it in on the baseline. Back the other way, here's a shot up. That shot no good by Daniels. Nuttall had a big Bearcat paw on it, and it goes out of bounds off of the Cats. 22 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Bearcats on a run here. Only trailing by five now, 28 to 23. They've trailed by as many as 11, 7.35 to go in the first. We'll step aside and take a break. Bearcats basketball continues when we come back in a minute by the Bearcats Sports Network. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphadiralabs.com. That's alphadiralabs.com. New years and new deals. Hi folks, Clint Mack here with Weezer in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 Blazer and get up to $5,000 in rebates. Or a 2020 Equinox and get up to $6,250 in rebates. If you need a heavy duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Weezer in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line. Or online at WeezerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth in Nacogdoches, Texas. Sam Houston making six of their last seven shots. What was once an 11-point Lumberjack lead has been trimmed down. Thanksgiving coming a little early here, trying to cut some fat off of that lead. It's 28-23, to 7.35 to go here in the first. The Bearcats shooting 56% from the field, 9 of 16. They are 2 of 4 from that Boke and Moak Attorneys at Law three-point line and three of four from the Charlies to Use Cars free throw line. For Stephen F., they are shooting 10 of 21, 47%, two of five from downtown and remaining perfect from that free throw line at six of six. Sam Houston turning it over only twice so far. That has been a key. We talked to Coach, and a lot of times it's the same keys to victory in these games. Coach said, look, we got to limit the turnovers. We've got to out-rebound our team, and part of that is protecting the ball of those turnovers. So far, Coach has got to be happy at least with only those two turnovers, 11 of them for Stephen F. Austin. One thing that we're going to see a lot of and what the Lumberjacks are known for, of course, with their big players, they can score in the paint. They're outscoring Sam right now, 14 to eight in the paint. The Bearcats though, using that smaller size and the speed from that smaller size to lead in fast break uh, opportunities, but so far not able to score in those. They've only scored two fast break points to eight. So we hopefully will see that turn around. Uh, the Bearcats off the bench, 15 points. So again, a little bit of rhythm here now as Sam Houston was looking for it. They finally have found it as we come out of the media timeout. Once again, wanna welcome you. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. You can feel free to text us on the Bearcat fan line if you're out there listening. We'd love to hear from you at 512-522-9105. Again, that number, 512-522-9105. Send us a text message. We'll try to get to those on the air. As the Jacks inbounding here, 20 seconds on the shot clock, leading by five. Pass quickly goes inside. Oh, that one partially blocked, but Nuttall's going to be charged with a foul. The inbound pass goes immediately into the hands of Daniels, and Daniels was fouled, though. So Nuttall will pick up his second personal, and that is Sam Houston's ninth. This was in the act of shooting regardless, so Daniels at the line. They'll actually charge that foul. Boy, if I'm not mistaken, on Bryce Monroe, that's his second personal. So Daniels here, the first free throw won't fall for Daniels. So Daniels missing that first free throw. It's his first time at the line here this afternoon. He'll take a few dribbles, actually make it four of them, spins the ball in his left hand. The right-handed free throw shot is good. So he splits the pair. 29-23, Bearcats trailing, 7.30 to go here in the first. It's Monroe on the far side to the top high screen, Ikpe. Over to Powers on the right wing with a left-handed dribble, bounce down to Ikpe. Ikpe way out there from the right elbow, trying to work inside the paint, drops it off. Nuttall, the floater off the left side of the glass, falls for Zach Nuttall. Beautiful, fancy footwork by Zach Nuttall. Here back the other way, it's Hecker trying to come in. 
He'll quickly pass this one back out to Johnson. This one knocked over. That should have, boy, thought that one would have went out of bounds off the Lumberjacks there as it was uh, Solomon going over. Uh, actually, that was Daniels going over and knocked it off of a Bearcat. So 18 seconds here on the shot clock as the Lumberjacks have it back on the left side, leading by four, 29-25. Left wing three, the shot won't fall for where? A rebound to Ikpe. Here comes the Bearcats. It's Nuttall on the right wing. He'll cross over, trying to split two defenders. Now he'll take a three, the shot way air ball. Oh man, that's a rare air ball there for Zach Nuttall. I don't think Coach Hooten was too happy about that shot selection as Nuttall will quickly run over to Coach and have a discussion with Coach Hooten. That's a rare air ball there for Zach Nuttall. You don't see too many of those. So Lumberjacks will inbound here on the far side, moving from right to left into the hands of Ware. Ware guarded by Dante Power. Standing on the A of the SFA logo, left-handed dribble, crossing back over up top, working off a high screen, trying to find a teammate down low into the hands of Kinsmill. Kinsmill guarded by Ikpe, trying to back him down. Kicks this one back up, top of the three. Johnson, shot won't fall. Rebound to Ikpe. The Bearcats with an opportunity here. It's Monroe crossing over up top. Monroe will step back now between half court and the top. Monroe looking. Picks up his dribble, he's got to get rid of it here. Bounce pass, swings it over to Ikpe at the top. Ikpe with the left-handed dribble. He wants to penetrate, Ikpe over to Nuttall. Yes, there it is again from Ikpe to Nuttall. That connection is working now for the Bearcats, only trailing by two, 29-27, 5.49 to go here in the first. It's Ware back for the Jacks over on the right wing. Hawkins guarded by Monroe. He'll find Hawkins back here. That's an offensive foul. That's the way to do it. Tristan Ikpe taking the charge, and the Bearcats will have it right back. 29-27, 5.39 to go here in the first. Stephen F. has not scored in almost two minutes. The Bearcats holding on to their run, a 6-1 run over that same time frame, making seven of their last eight shots. Monroe gets the inbound from Powers, and the Bearcats looking to tie it up with a basket or take the lead on a three. It's Monroe at the top, working a right-handed dribble. Ikpe setting the high screen. Monroe works around the left side, now back up to the top, trying to find something inside. Monroe from the paint, swings it. This ball knocked around off the Bearcats and goes out of bounds off Terriante. Oh, no. Wow, it looked like it went out of bounds off Terriante Thomas. And even the fans here are not happy about that. They're going to say that it went off the Jacks. It may have been Solomon. Marcus Lampley will check back into the ball game for the Cats as Terriante Thomas will head over the bench. Thomas, two points in five minutes so far in this ball game. Nine seconds on the shot clock as the freshman Bryce Monroe will inbound on his own baseline on the right side. He's looking. Monroe, got to hurry, gets this one up over to Ikpe on the right wing, over to Monroe. Seven seconds on the clock. Monroe takes a jumper. This one partially knocked away from him. Three seconds on the clock. That was great defense down there. I believe Daniels and company may have got a hand on that one. Uh, looking here, I, I'm not sure exactly who that was. It could have been Daniels down there. Three seconds. Bearcats got to move quickly here. It's Monroe looking. Hill inbound and a foul called here on the offensive side against Zach Nuttall. Nuttall ran over to Fender as he ran right through Nigel Hawkins. And that's a foul on the offensive side on Zach Nuttall. He's talking to the official about it. It was on the offensive side, so no free throws here. 5-11 to go in this first half. The Jacks leading only by two, 29 to 27. They have not scored in almost two and a half minutes. Inbounding is Solomon. Solomon will find his teammate Johnson. Bearcats showing a little bit of pressure here in the backcourt. Now back over to Ware, guarded by Powers. Ware on the far side, crossing it back over. Got to be careful on this court. It's hard to see that half-court line. He'll find Daniels. Daniels will drop this one back off over to Ware at the top. Back to Daniels. Puts it up. Shot no good. Ikpe may have had a Bearcat claw on it. This ball goes out of bounds. And we'll see. Does it go to Sam Houston? No. Does it? I believe it may have went back to the Bearcats here. So Sam Houston will get it right back. Well, Austin missed the... Stephen F. missed that jumper there trying to go inside, and, uh, yep, that ball's out of bounds, so it's going to go back to Sam Houston here. 29-27, Bearcats trailing by only two, 4.43 to go here in the first. It's Monroe on the far side. Into the right hand, high screen, Ikpe. He'll take a straightaway three. This one off the right side of the rim. 
Boy, Powers was just kind of walking around down there. That could have been an offensive rebound, and I don't think Powers saw it. Goes right back to the Jacks here. It's Ware at the top. Over to the right wing, inside the paint. Flip, dip, good and one. Marati Ware found his rhythm inside. And the Bearcats will huddle up in the paint and talk things over. Jaron Cook's down there alongside Dante Powers and the rest of his teammates. And an and one opportunity coming up here for Ware. The foul was on Tristan Ikpe, his second personal. That was in the act of shooting. The Jacks in the double bonus regardless. So the first free throw, or the and one is good. So Ware completes the and one, 32-27. Bearcats got to within two. And Stephen F. finally scoring after they went scoreless for almost two minutes. The Bearcats back with it here on the right side. It's Jaron Cook for three. This time it won't fall. Cook hit one earlier. That time it wouldn't fall for Jaron Cook. Back over to the Jacks on the far side. Wanting to extend this lead. Ware bounce pass down low over to Kakoris on the left corner. Kakoris swinging around through Powers. Oh, he almost stepped out there. I think he did. Wait a minute. The official, did he step out? Yes, he did. I saw his foot right down here. Stepped out of bounds. Kakoris turns it right back over to Sam Houston. 32-27, Bearcats trailing, 3.57 to go here in the first. We'll step aside and take a break. We'll be back in a minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. Hot Rods of Texas presents the winter Conroe Swap Meet and Car Corral February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairground. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to hotrodsoftexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas winter swap meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. Have you wanted to speak a new language, but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. 37-22, Bearcats trailing here in Nacogdoches, Texas. 32-27, if I didn't say that correctly, 32-27 to score, 3.57 to go here in the first. Sam got it to within two. And it is just, you know, you get close and then some turnovers and it knocks things away. Sam here still trying to find some life in this first half. They've had glimpses of it. Trying to take advantage of some things here. Again, 3.57 to go, 32-27 your score. I'm Rob Hip. thanks for joining us live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. You know, Sam was able to get to it then too because Stephen F, honestly, they just haven't been shooting well. Only one of their last five shots. They're 11 of 25 from the field so far here in this first half. Two of seven from downtown. They've been to the free throw line. They got into the bonus pretty early with nine minutes to go. They're eight of nine from that charity stripe. For the Bearcats, 11 of 22, 50%, two of seven from downtown, and three of four from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. Leading all scores right now for the Bearcats, it's Dante Powers. He has seven, and right behind him, Jaron Cook with five. On the flip side, it's David Cacoris for Stephen F. Austin. He has nine points so far in this ball game. So coming out of the timeout here, the Cats will inbound. On the left side of the court, it is Dante Powers and Monroe, the freshman. The freshman has it, Monroe. We call him Rocket Man because he's quick once he gets that ball. We haven't seen it so far this afternoon, though. Powers has it. Near center court goes over to Jared Cook. Cook from the top. Quick chest pass over to Powers on the left wing. Powers guarded by Kakaris. Kakaris swipes it away, and it's stolen. This ball goes right back to Hawkins here for the Lumberjacks. Over to Kakaris, back up top. The left-handed dribble crosses over to his right hand. Kakaris on the right wing, guarded by Powers. Swings his pass up top, goes to Ware. Ware back over to Hawkins, now back to Ware. Ware from the left baseline. He almost stepped out, his tight rope in it. Feeds this one inside, and the putback is good there by Daniels. Hawkins missed it, Daniels was there to clean it up. That's easy to do when you got those tall big men down there. 
34-27, Bearcats trailing by seven, 3.05 to go here in the first. Bryce Monroe over to the right elbow. He'll take a jumper. This shot good with a hand in his face. Bryce Monroe dropping it at the bottom of the net. 35-29. Lumberjacks leading, 2.53 to go here in the first. Over to Daniels. Daniels to the right wing to Ware. Ware quickly finding his teammate Hawkins. Hawkins back near the left wing. Back up top, the ball goes to Solomon. Solomon to Kakarese. Kakarese right baseline, throws up a shot. It's not there, but a foul is called here on the Bearcats. So Kakarese will go to the line. Shooting two, Manny Crump with his first personal. And again at the line here is Kakarese. He'll try to get into double digits as he has nine points so far in this ball game. Two shots coming up here for David Kakarese. He's a 74% free throw shooter, only 17 to 23, makes the first one here. 17 to 23 entering this afternoon's game. 35-29. Kakarese continuing his work here now in double digits. Sam, after going on a run, have only made one of their last four shots. Kakarese nails the second free throw as well. Cameron Johnson checking back into the ball game for the Jacks as Calcaries will head over to the bench. Monroe to inbound here for the Bearcats. Over to Powers, back to Monroe. Monroe crossing the half-court logo. Here in Nacogdoches, trying to give his team some life, trailing 36-29, 2.30 to go here in the first. It's Lampley, that shot blocked as he went up for three and just got it stuffed. Rotti Ware was all in his face, and it goes right back to the Lumberjacks. Ware has it at the top. Picks up his dribble, finds Solomon from the elbow inside the paint now, throws up a shot, he's fouled, he'll go to the line shooting two. He was in the act of shooting. And a foul is called here against Jaron Cook. It's his second personal foul. The Bearcats have really cooled off now, only one of their last five shots, and Calvin Solomon at the line to shoot two. He'll put up the first right-handed free throw, that shot is good. Dylan Robertson will check in for the first time this afternoon. Heading back over to the bench is Manny Crump. So Manny Crump, three points in eight minutes. Second free throw here by the Jacks on its way. This one rattles in for Sullivan. Charlie Daniels checking back into the game for Nana. He'll head over to the bench. And Dante Power set to inbound here for Sam Houston. 38-29, Bearcats trailing to 11 to go here in the first. This is a team that puts up 80 points plus a game, and they've only been held to 30 here so far, 29 in this first. Monroe has it on the left wing, splitting through defenders, takes the jump shot, not there. And Dylan Robertson went up for it, and there's going to be a foul here called against Stephen F. Austin. Well, that foul is called against Cameron Johnson, his first. Was not in the act of shooting. Bearcats will inbound. Monroe throws this one up top to Robertson, who checked in just moments ago. Hands off over to Lampley, and a quick foul here to Cameron Johnson, quicking, picking up another quick foul as he bumped Lampley trying to drive in. So that is now the seventh team foul. That will put the Bearcats in the bonus. Kakaris checking back into the game for Cameron Johnson, who just picked up two quick fouls. So Lamp at the line here for a one and one. He is an 80% free throw shooter from the Charlie's used cars free throw line. He's been there once tonight on an and one earlier. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw on the front, rattles in and good for Lampley. 38-30, Bearcats trailing by eight, 154 to go here in the first. As Lampley will take his left hand and wipe the bottom of his left shoe, he'll step back up to the free throw line. Shrugs his shoulders, takes a deep breath in his stance. A couple of right-handed dribbles, right-handed free throw, good for Demarcus Lampley. He makes both of those Charlie's used cars free throws. Kakaris for the Jacks, have it back here, leading by 7, 38-31, 148 to go in the first. Swings this one over to Daniels on the right wing, back up top, Kakaris guarded by Monroe. He's standing near center court. Now over to the left wing, crossing back over his dribble to Ware. Three on the shot clock. Ball bounces around, goes out of bounds with one second remaining on the shot clock. And a timeout is called here by head coach Kyle Keller. We'll take it with him for 30 seconds, 38-31, 134 to go here in the first. 
Jacks lead. They've got one second on the shot clock when we come back on the Bearcat Sports Network. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday with fish or shrimp fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. 38-31 back live here in Nacogdoches, Texas, as the Jacks leading by seven. Bearcats on a 10-game winning streak on the line here in this storied rivalry dating back to 1924. Cackleries will inbound with one second on the clock under his own rim on the left side. Quickly looking for a teammate, throws this one up. The shot is no good, tipped around, goes to Lampley. It's a nice effort there. Solomon almost had the put back in. Over to the right side, it's Dante Powers from the right wing. Crossing over his dribble, works back, finds Dylan Robertson, and Robertson down there. A blocking foul called against the Jacks. Robertson will go to the line, shooting two. Dylan Robertson, a six foot 10 junior forward, He's only 6 of 14 this season from that free throw line. It's a Charlie's used cars free throw coming up here for Robertson. Speaking of which, Tim Rushing joining us. Appreciate you, Tim. Thanks for joining us on the social media feed. Saying go Cats. Here's Robertson on the front end. Right-handed shot, good. Critical free throw there made by Dillon. 38-32, it's a six-point jack lead. 122 to go here in the first. As the ball goes back from the official to Robertson, shrugs his shoulder. He'll take three dribbles, now a fourth. Bends his knees, right-handed free throw on the way. This one, nothing but the bottom of that net. 38-33. Cacoris has it for the Jacks. He'll move across center court with a left-handed dribble. Bryce Monroe guarding him. Cacoris over to the right hand. Swings the pass to Ware. Ware working it against Lampley over the left corner. Solomon, left baseline. This one stripped away, and Powers was wanting a strip, and instead Powers is going to get called for a foul here. He's frustrated. So Dante Powers called for the foul. That is his second personal, and two free throws coming up here for the Lumberjacks. It's Galvin Solomon at the line here, or actually... That's Solomon at the line here to shoot two. So up in his knees, right-handed free throw, rattles in and good. So Solomon makes the first one. So far in this ball game, Solomon remains perfect from the free throw line. All of his five points coming at the charity stripe. The next one off the front end. Missed that one after making the first five. 39-33. Dante Powers has it at the top. Down to Robertson in the paint. Robertson patient. Over to Monroe for three. Bam! Target acquired, baby! It's the freshman Rocket Man nailing it from downtown. 39-36 with that Moken Mocha Tourney at Law three-pointer. Here's Hawkins on the left wing for the Jacks. They've been, it, been able to answer three-pointers. They've got to watch them here. This shot up, partially blocked. Lampley down there. He's got the rebound. It's Demarcus Lampley. Back over to Bryce Monroe in the backcourt. Monroe taking his time with 29 seconds. There's about a five-second differential on the shot clock and game clock. Monroe will hold here on the right wing, guarded by Cackleries. 14 now on the shot clock as it runs down, 17 on the game clock. Now below 10. High screen Robertson as Monroe tried to work through it. Five on the clock. Monroe stepping back, looking over, has powers for three. This one no good. And the rebound goes to the Jacks. They want to push quickly. One second on the clock. Cackleries at the buzzer. Shot no good. Great defense by Dante Powers. And that will do it at the end of one. 39-36. Bearcats on a 7-1 run to end that first half of play. We'll step aside for a few minutes. When we come back, we'll talk about the first half here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Courage. Integrity. Perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, the signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas. 
with purpose. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment is proud to now carry Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company is veteran-owned. They are producing premium coffee for people who love America. With every purchase of Black Rifle Coffee, Black Rifle gives back to veterans, law enforcement, and first responders. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call the shop at 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. Pros bring something extra to every job. Now at the Home Depot, they also get something extra. Pro Extra, our free loyalty program built for pros just like you. Members earn perks with every dollar spent, like Pro Extra dollars, a tool rental credit, and more. New members get $20 off their next in-store purchase of $200 or more just for signing up. Learn more at homedepot.com slash pro extra. New year, more rewards, Pro Extra, only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphaderalabs.com. That's alphaderalabs.com. New Year's and new deals. Hi, folks. I'm back here with Weezer in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals like a 2020 Blazer and get up to $5,000 in rebates or a 2020 Equinox and get up to $6,250 in rebates. If you need a heavy-duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Weezer in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line or online at WeezerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new road. Hot Rods of Texas presents the Winter Conroe Swap Meet and Car Corral February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairground. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to HotRodsOfTexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas Winter Swap Meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. All right, friends, welcome back live from the Copeland Family Dentistry Broadcast Booth 39.
we do to a whole bunch of new people across the country, and that's going to be fun. You know, Jason, as, as we continue to talk here at halftime, Jason Barfield, Sam Houston Athletics, uh, it, it feels kind of strange to say this. Football, just a few weeks away. You know, can you believe that, man? Spring football here, uh, exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun this year. You know, I, I don't think I've fully grasped what it's going to what it's going to be like to be playing football February, March, and April and going from a baseball game at noon to a football game at 6 o'clock that night. It's going to be completely new and um, – you know, I don't know what to expect. From a logistical side, I just want to ask you, how have you guys been able to manage that and kind of schedule everything? It's a lot of work. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I, it, it really is. And um, when it's all said and done, you know, when May rolls around, it's probably going to be the hardest thing professionally I've ever had to do. But, uh, you know, from scheduling our games and making sure that we've got, you know, separation between games and we've got stuff that we're not doubling up on and playing at the same time, trying to put together an ESPN schedule and, it, you know, at the same time not shorting any teams because everybody still needs to get their coverage. They need to get on ESPN. They need to get their games produced. And so just making sure everybody gets a little bit of something, but, you know, making sure at the same time that my staff survives the four months, uh, you know, that's that's an interesting balance. But, um, you know, we've got a really good staff that we have working for us. We've got a really good group of students who work for us that come from the MassCom department. Our partnership with MassCom, with SHSU Online, it, it really helps. And we couldn't pull it off without basically the entire university community coming together and pitching in and making this work. Well, Jason, you know, we talk so much, just a kind of final thought here for me, we talk so much about the big three, of course, football, basketball, and baseball, but so much more that goes on in Sam and you bowling. That's another good area. Tennis, track. Mention maybe some things about some of the other things that are going on at Sam with sports. I know there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, you know, you go back to – it wasn't that long ago, 2019, where we won nine conference championships in the spring alone because every team we have competes. I mean, even that year, tennis made it to the conference finals that season. I mean, we were that close – to a 10th conference championship. So so not only do we have a lot of teams competing, they're all competing at that top level trying to win a conference championship. And now we're going to be packing all of that in. I mean, you can come to Sam Houston for two nights and watch seven teams play. So, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun, a lot of opportunities for folks in the Huntsville community to come out and support these Bearcats. You know, one thing that we talk about in basketball is the 1,200 strong kind of campaign, and that's where we're really trying to get. That's the capacity limit, basically, with COVID. We're starting to see a lot of numbers there at Johnson. It's been exciting to see more and more fans coming in supporting the Bearcats. Yeah, it's growing, and I think just as people are learning how it works and, you know, how to get your tickets, when you need to get your tickets, the students are starting to filter in now that they're on campus and kind of figuring all of that out. And then once we get to our outdoor sports, I think it's going to be really, really exciting for the fans. I think we're going to be putting the maximum capacity in at baseball, at softball, football. I, I just think it's really all going to start coming together. Well, Jason, appreciate you again, all that you do at the university and your staff. You guys do tremendous work. And I know you're busy here. you got to get back. You're shooting video over here tonight as well. So a lot on the plate, man. But thanks for all you do, my friend. I right, appreciate it. Well, once again, that was Jason Barfield here with Sam Houston Athletics. We'll step aside and take a break. 39-36. The Lumberjacks leading by three here in Nacogdoches. We'll be back in a few moments as we continue to talk halftime here on the Bearcat Sports Network. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Yeah. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Courage. Integrity. Perseverance. Commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov 
or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment is proud to now carry Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company is veteran-owned. They are producing premium coffee for people who love America. With every purchase of Black Rifle Coffee, Black Rifle gives back to veterans, law enforcement, and first responders. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, located in the Timberhill Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call the shop at 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. Pros bring something extra to every job. Now at the Home Depot, they also get something extra. Pro Extra, our free loyalty program built for pros just like you. Members earn perks with every dollar spent, like Pro Extra dollars, a tool rental credit, and more. New members get $20 off their next in-store purchase of $200 or more just for signing up. Learn more at homedepot.com slash pro extra. New year, more rewards, Pro Extra, only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dera Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dera Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphaderalabs.com. That's alphaderalabs.com. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. It is Sam Houston men's basketball here on the Bearcat Sports Network. I want to welcome everybody in. We're at halftime here about uh, two or three minutes to go before we get things started up. We'll quickly look at first half stats. Sam Houston shooting a perfect 50%. Well, you call it 5-0. Oh, perfect will be 100. They're shooting 50% from the field. 13 of 26, 3 of 9 from that Moke and Moke attorney at law. Three-point line, 7 of 8 for the Charlies to use cars a free throw line. On the flip side for Stephen F. Austin, 12 of 30, shooting 40% from the field, 2 of 8 from downtown, 13 of uh, 15 from the free throw line. Talking about turnovers earlier, I was mistaken. I, I, I just had the stat wrong. Sam Houston turning it over eight times in that first half. Only four turnovers for Stephen F. Austin, leading all scores for Sam Houston. No one in double digits, surprisingly, in that first half of play. That may have been one of the first times this season that we've seen that here in the Southland Conference play. Bryce Monroe has eight points so far in this ballgame in 12 minutes of play, and behind him, Dante Powers with seven. Only one player in double digits for Stephen F. Austin. It's David Cackleries with 11 points as uh, he started to find a little bit of life and shooting one of four from downtown, four of seven from the field. So that's where we stand, 39 to 36, 147 to go before we start things in the second half. We'll step aside for a moment. When we come back, we'll have the second half. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. New Year's and new deals. Hi, folks. Clem back here with Weezer in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals like a 2020 Blazer and get up to $5,000 in rebates or a 2020 Equinox and get up to $6,250 in rebates. If you need a heavy-duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Weezer in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line or online at WeezerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Hot Rods of Texas presents the Winter Conroe Swap Meet and Car Corral February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. <laughs> This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to HotRodsOfTexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas Winter Swap Meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. All right, friends, welcome back here as we're moments away from the second half starting up. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us here. On the Bearcats Sports Network, 101.7 KSAM. Big shout-out to Carlos Zimmerman back at KSAM Studios for helping to make our coverage uh, broadcast producing possible. And also my beautiful fiance Bridget Brennan, joining me here on the table tonight as uh, she's keeping up with our score and other information. want to remind you that fan text line is open. Feel free to send us a text message. Let us know you're listening. We'd love to hear from you. That number is 512-522-9105. Again, the Bearcat fan text line open. 
for text messaging at 512-522-9105. Tim Rushing sending a message earlier saying, listening loud and proud, go Cats. Appreciate you, Tim Rushing, over Charlie's Dues Cars, also the free throw sponsor. And how about our good friend joining us, Nancy Park Jolly, saying, eat them up, Cats. Appreciate you, Nancy. Hope you're having a wonderful and blessed weekend. Also, a shout-out to Christopher Dunlap saying hello to us. Hello, Chris. Hope all's going well. And, of course, Brian Adams saying good job. Eat them up, Cats. Appreciate you, Brian. And, as always, thanks for joining us. Looking forward to being back with you on the microphone for football. We'll start things here in the second half. Just underway as the Lumberjacks will have it. They'll start this moving from left to right as they now switch gears and move to the other side. A bounce pass down low over to Solomon. Solomon from the right elbow feeding around to Johnson. Johnson turn around jumper not there. JV on May with the rebound. Good position there for JV on May. Able to haul down that rebound. Bearcats trailing here 39-36 just underway. 30 seconds gone. It's Nuttall right baseline. Jumps back. This one blocked over but he's fouled and Zach Nuttall will go to the line shooting two. Well, it's good to see Zach Nuttall there getting in some action. And Nuttall at the line here with an opportunity to shoot two. At that Charlie's used cars free throw line, Zach Nuttall, a 71% free throw shooter. He'll put up the first one on the way and good. Zach Nuttall, among many accolades, was named to the College Insider Lou Henson Award midseason watch list recently. That award goes to the mid-major national player of the year. He was named the mid-major national player of the week back on January the 11th. This shot up and good as well. So he makes both the Charlie's used cars free throws. It's a one-point deficit here. Stephen F. leading 39 to 38, 1927 to go. It's Ware trying to move inside from the paint. This one over around to Cackleries. Cackleries back up top, swings it down, poked up by Tristan Ickpay, and it's saved by Nuttall. Back to Ickpay. Here comes Dante Powers from the elbow. He'll pick up his dribble, finds Nuttall, takes a three in transition. Bam, there it is, Zach Nuttall from downtown, and the Bearcats regain the lead, 41 to 39, in the first minute of play here in the second half. That's a Mocha Mocha turning at law three-pointer. And the Jacks have it back on the right side. Here's Ickpay knocking it up into the air, but it goes right back into the hands of Johnson. 13 seconds on the clock. Johnson inside, right side, shot good and one. Oh, Johnson found a lane and found an and one opportunity as he was fouled. A late whistle there. Uh, the foul is called on JV on May. It's his third person on the first team foul of this second half. Johnson at the line for the N1. We're tied at 41 apiece. Yes, he'll take a few dribbles here, bends his knees. The right-handed free throw shot is good, and the Jacks retake the lead by one. They've led by as many as 11 when it was 22 to 11. Bearcats have led by as many as three when it was 3-0 early. Powers has it back on the left wing, guarded by Cackle-Reese. Over to Lampley as it was tipped back into the backcourt. No backcourt violation, 15 on the shot clock. Lampley looking over to the right wing. He'll bounce past to Nuttall. Nuttall on the baseline, he's trapped, puts it up somehow through traffic. That shot no good though. Javion May fighting for the rebound. And it bounces around and it goes out of bounds. Five seconds on the shot clock. And the Bearcats will have it here. It is, boy, I guess Zach Nuttall's gonna inbound. So Nuttall will inbound just in front of us with five seconds on the shot clock. Over to Lampley. Lampley will take a three. This shot won't fall. Bounced around. It pay with the rebound. And a foul called here against Cackle Reese. Tristan Ickpay has been a force in this ball game. Now drawing a foul. 42-41, 18-10 to go here in the second half of play. So the foul there against the Jacks, inbounding is Dante Powers. Powers has it on the baseline. He'll find Nuttall, jumper, this shot way too strong. Cackle has it on the right side, quickly back over, guarded by Lampley. He'll rotate to the right wing, picks up, swings this one all the way to Johnson for three. Johnson, this shot no good. The easy box out there for Ken Smill. He's got it on the offensive rebound. Back to where it's tipped up into the air, and it goes right to Cackle a Good job there by May getting a hand on it. Over to Lamp, over to Ware, guarded by Lampley. Now back up top to Nana. Over to the left wing, into the hands of Johnson. Johnson, left corner, Cackleries three, yes. 
can't leave Kakarese open. He'll nail it. It's a 45 to 41 advantage for the Jacks. Over to Power, swings this one to Ikpe, back over to Javion May, drops it to Nuttall, Nuttall on the baseline, he'll throw up another one, this shot not there as he was well under the rim trying to force the issue. Johnson back over, Kakari's left side, good. Another run here now for Stephen F. as they are on a 6-0 run over the last minute or so. Bearcats have not scored in a minute and a half. It's Dante Powers. Back over to Lampley. He lost his teammate. Lampley, though, was there to pick it up. Lampley has it. Tipped up into the air. Lampley, it's stolen. Here's Ware. All alone. Slam it down. Hoot not happy as Bryce Monroe at the scores table. 49-41. Bearcats led by one earlier. And it's been a 10-0 run here now. An 8-0 run here by Stephen F. Austin. We'll step aside for a minute. 49-41, 16, 39 to go here in the second. We'll be back in a moment on the Bearcat Sports Network. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the I Heart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. Have you wanted to speak a new language, but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. 49-41, Lumberjacks on a run here after the Bearcats led by as many as one. Stephen F. now on a 10-0 run over the last two and a half minutes. The Bearcats have not scored in that same time frame. Stephen F. Austin making four of their last five shots and again leading 49-41 with 16-39 to go here in the second half of play. Sam Houston shooting only one of five out of the gates here in this second half. One of two from downtown. They've hit a couple of free throws from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. On the flip side for Stephen F. Austin, they're shooting four of six as we start this second half. One of two from the three-point line and one of one from the charity stripe. Sam Houston also picking through some few things here. One turnover early as they've got nine in the game and five turnovers. One also early here in the second half for Stephen F. Austin as well. I want to welcome you back into the broadcast booth here from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. And we're also live in this Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half. It's Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty, Huntsville's a real estate expert. Bring home the win with Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty. We'll come out of the timeout on the court for Sam Houston. It is Powers, Ikpe, Bryce Monroe, Zach Nuttall to inbound. And also, Javion May is out there. So, Zach Nuttall will inbound this just in front of the scores table. A little bit of time here. The officials taking a little bit of time getting this one back in action. So they're talking a few things over. I think part of it, they just have to wait for the TV timeout. So, Nuttall again in front of that scores table right next to his bench here on the left side. As Nuttall with the inbound pass looking for a teammate goes over to Javion May. May has it. Drop off to Nuttall. Nuttall with a left-handed dribble, crossing it back over to the right wing. Finds Ikpe. Ikpe darting this one over to May. May on the baseline. He'll put it up. Shot partially blocked. And it goes over to Nana. Fighting for it is Nana and Ikpe. And a jump ball possession arrow will stay with Sam Houston with eight seconds on the shot clock. And they'll reset that back to 20 seconds now on the jump ball. So the Bearcats will hold on to the possession here. Bryce Monroe, the freshman, will inbound under his own baseline. As he's looking, trying to find a teammate, goes over to Ikpe near the right corner. Here's Monroe for three. Bam, he got it, baby. Rocket man draining it from downtown. 
49-44 on that Mokin Mocha tourney at Law three-pointer. It's back to the Lumberjacks here on the right side. And a travel call. It's a turnover. Another turnover here in the second half. We'll give it right back to Sam Houston. Now that's the way they want to work here. 49-44. Bearcats trailing by five. It was 16.06 to go here in the second half of play. As Powers will inbound it to Bryce Monroe. Monroe on the far side, moving from right to left. He's inside, using his speed. That shot, though, blocked. The speed didn't work this time. Here's Ware, back over to the right side, pushed a little bit from behind by Nuttall. No foul, and he's able to lay it in for two off the right side of the glass. 51-44. Stephen F. leading, 15-40 to go here in the game. It's Javion May from downtown. This shot, no good. That's not his shot. He's taken two of them this game and missed both of them. Had a good look, he was wide open. Ware back inside, right side, no good, but he's fouled. That shot wouldn't fall, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting two in the act of shooting. Dante Powers, third personal foul. And the Bearcats with two team fouls here with 15.28 to go in the ball game. 51 to 44, free throws coming up for the Jacks when we come back on the Bearcats Sports Network. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the iHeart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday with fish or shrimp fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and campouts. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here live from Nagadoches, Texas, as we're at the William R. Johnson Coliseum here in the Copeland Family Dentistry Broadcast booth. Bearcats trailing Stephen F. Austin 51 to 44 with 15-24 to go in this ball game. The largest lead for Stephen F. Austin was 11. That was all the way back in the first at the 9:59 mark. Sam is led by as many as three, as it was pretty much early right out of the gates. But Sam went on a run here. They were trailing. Entering the second half, went on a little bit of a run and actually took a one-point advantage at one point before Stephen F. Austin went on a 10-0 run to regain the lead. Currently sitting at 7, 51 to 44. Free throws coming up as we come out of this media timeout. Bearcats hauling in 19 rebounds so far. 22 for Stephen F. Austin. Sam Houston has turned it over nine times, only six turnovers for the Jacks in this ball game. They scored 26 down in the paint. That's their game with a lot of these big men. So Johnson will shoot the free throws here for Stephen F. Austin on that right side. Cameron Johnson, the senior, as they're still holding it a little bit here. They've got to wait for the TV timeout to officially end, and it does. And so Johnson here on this right side will move in. So talking about... Johnson, who has five points in this ball game, one of one from the free throw line. And Johnson will shoot two here on this right side. He'll take three right-handed dribbles, the right-handed free throw on the way, and it's good at the bottom of the net. 15 of 17 now, only two missed free throws for Stephen F. Foss. It's a team that only shoots around 67 or so percent from the charity stripe. The second free throw is good as well. So they're making up for some stats that don't really pop out on the stat sheet as far as in a good way. Bearcats trailing 53-44. Back to the left side is Dante Powers trying to go through the paint here. He'll find May back over to Powers. Powers, quick chest pass to JV on May from the right corner. May, bounce pass over to Ikpe. Turn around, floater, flip it up. Good for Tristan Ikpe. Boy, they need that big man down there to find more of those in the paint. Ikpe just found a basket for two. It's 53 to 46. Lumberjacks leading here, 15-01 to go in a ball game. As they've got it back on the right side. Into the hands of Ware. Rati Ware has it guarded by Jaron Cook, who checked back in just moments ago. 
Back over to Kakaris, wide open three. Can't leave him open. He'll nail it every time. Ten-point advantage for Stephen F. Austin here. 14-30 to go in the second. Dante Powers inside the paint, swings it over, back to Powers. Right wing, picks it up. JV on May, right corner, bounce pass. Ikpe, floater, good. Ikpe again, back-to-back shots from inside the paint. That's his shot. They've got to continue to feed the big man down there. It's 56-48, Sam Houston trailing. Lumberjacks back with it. Kakaris on the right wing, who's hit a three just moments ago. Over to Nana at the top. Back to Kakaris. Kakaris, right-handed dribble. Goes back top. Where? Straight away three. This one no good off the front. A rebound poked around, and it eventually goes to the Bearcats. Here's Dante Powers moving from right to left. Powers will pick up a dribble back at the top. Swings it over to May. May to a glancing nut all. Back over to... May, here's a shot from Ikpe. That shot no good as he was just inside the three-point line straight away. Made two previous baskets in a row. Now back to the right side of the Lumberjacks. Find it over Kakalrese on the right wing, guarded by Dante Powers. Picks up his dribble, looking for someone. Turns around, drops his shot over to Ware. Ware on the right wing, 13 seconds on the shot clock, now below 10. Ware with the right-handed dribble, crossing it over. Seven seconds on the shot clock. He'll take a shot from the elbow, air ball. Rebound to Sam Houston. Powers trying to work inside. Kakari stopping him, though. Quickly back over the left side. Feeding this one over. Jaron Cook for three. This one won't fall for Cook as it went off the back of the iron. Boy, the Bearcats needed that shot. Wouldn't fall. Back over to the right side. It's Ware. Picks up his dribble over to Nana. Now to the left wing. Johnson. Johnson, Kakari. Kakari thought about a three as he stepped back. Finds Ware back over there. Or actually, it's Johnson on the left wing. Johnson over to Ware at the top. Ware guarded by Nuttall. As he'll throw this one down low to Kinsmill. Puts up a shot. Oh, Ikpe with the block there. Ikpe saying, get it out of here, man. Nuttall over to Jaron Cook. Long three. This one won't fall. And the ball bounces out of bounds. Cook had a good look at it. He was about two or three feet away from that left wing three and just wouldn't drop. Manny Crump will check back into the ball game for Jaron Cook. As Jaron Cook will have a quick chat with Head coach Jason Hooten. Hooten kind of showing him the floor here and saying, hey man, distribute the ball. You got some guys moving around. 12.38 to go here in the ball game. 56-48, Bearcats trailing. As the Jacks have it here on the left side, Nigel Hawkins to inbound. On the court for Sam Houston, it is Monroe, Powers, Lampley, Nuttall, and Crump. Hawkins inbounding. He'll find Ware, guarded by Lampley. The left-handed dribble here on the near side, moving from left to right, crossing the mid-court stripe. Ware has it. Quick bounce pass down low as he kind of shuffled it over. Give and go back to Ware. Here's a right corner three. This shot won't fall. Tipped around. Monroe, that's a mismatch. Rebound for the Lumberjacks. Crump, though, fighting for it. Crump gets it knocked away. Crump's on the deck. And now back over to the Lumberjacks off the right side, and a foul here on Manny Crump more than likely. As Calvin Sullivan was down there, a lot of opportunities for the Bearcats. The foul is going to go against Manny Crump. That is his second personal and the third team foul here in the second half. 12-10 to go, 56-48. It's an eight-point Lumberjack advantage. As DeAndre Heggard will inbound this ball, 20 seconds on the shot clock on the right wing. He'll find where. Ware on the right corner, guarded by Lampley. High screen, Solomon. Bounce, this one goes to Solomon. Solomon will find his teammate. Sliding inside. Boy, that shot wasn't there, but there to clean it up easily was Charlie Daniels. 58-48, 10 point advantage for the Jacks. Bearcats have it back on the left side. It's Bryce Monroe. Over to Powers on the right wing with a right-handed dribble. Finding some daylight. He'll find Nuttall. Nuttall, the patience and one. Zach Nuttall. Oh, mama, there it is. Zach Nuttall. The patience paid off as he laid it up off the left side of the glass and drew the foul. It's an and one opportunity for the Bearcats. 58 to 50 and an and one coming up in one minute here on the Bearcats Sports Network. Hot Rods of Texas presents the winter Conroe swap meet in Car Corral. February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to hotrodsoftexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas winter swap meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. 
Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000 apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. 11.41 to go here in the Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half. Welcome back. Rob Hipp here live from Nacogdoches, Texas at William R. Johnson Coliseum. Bearcats trailing 58-50. to 50. Sam Houston entering this contest on a 10-game winning streak and a perfect 7-0 in the Southland. Stephen F. Austin 5-1 in Southland Conference play, 9-3 overall. Sam Houston started this winning streak all the way back on December the 19th. On an 82-69 victory over Rice. And then starting Southland Conference play, three games on the road at Nichols, at Southeastern, at Central Arkansas. Then three at home was Lamar, Houston Baptist, and that tough one against Abilene Christian. But the Bearcats took care of business in that ball game, 64-57. And then skating by Texas A&M Corpus on Wednesday, a 75-70 victory there. But here... Boy, they've been trailing a lot in this ball game and find themselves in an unfamiliar place. Every time they've gotten close, Stephen F. Austin has found a way to stretch that lead back out. Here so far in the second half, right out of the gate, Sam Houston was able to take a one-point advantage earlier in this second. But then Stephen F. Austin went on a 10-0 run. And the Bearcats have been trying to claw their way back into this one since that. Again, 58 to 50 is where we stand right now here in Nacogdoches. In this second half of play, Sam Houston only shooting 33% from the field. They're five of 15, two of six from three point land and two of two from that Charlie's used cars free throw line. For Stephen F. Austin, they're shooting much better in this second half, 46%. They only shot 40% in the first half, seven of 15, two of five from downtown and a perfect three of three from the free throw line. That should bring us out of the timeout here. Nuttall will shoot free throws, or an and one opportunity here for Zach Nuttall at that Charlie's used cars free throw line. He made the basket earlier off the left side. He'll try to complete the and one opportunity here on the left side. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw shot, good. Zach Nuttall able to complete the and one for Sam Houston. It's 58-51, seven point jack advantage, where to the right side? Guarded by Dante Powers. Rotating over, looking down, finds his teammate Solomon. Solomon will go back to Ware on the right wing. Ware putting it on the court with the right-handed dribble inside the paint, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two. Now foul there against Sam Houston. It's on Dante Powers. That's his fourth, so he's in some foul trouble here now. Wouldn't be surprised if we see Dante come off the court here in just a few moments. So Ware at the line, shooting two. Rati Ware, an 85% free throw shooter, makes the first one. Have another opportunity here to stretch this back. An eight point advantage, trying to make it back to nine. 59 51 with 11.15 to go. Ware will bend his knees on the right side. The right handed free throw shot good at the bottom of the net. 60 to 51, it's back to a nine point advantage for the Jacks. As Manny Crump out there. Powers will remain, so it is Powers, Crump, Nuttall, Monroe, and Lampley. Terriante Thomas at the scores table, though. So we'll see him at the next whistle. Monroe has it back to the left side. Falls on the court on the right wing. He's trapped. Still trying to get rid of it. Double team. Monroe works through it. He'll put up a floater. That shot won't fall off the right side. Crump with the rebound. He'll put it up. Good for Manny Crump. Somehow, Bryce Monroe was able to work out of a double team and eventually leading to Manny Crump making a basket. It's 60 to 53, seven point jack advantage. Cackle has it on the right side. Over to the right wing, picks up over the head pass. He'll find Solomon and a few whistles here. And looks like a foul possibly against Manny Crump. So Manny Crump will pick up his third personal. That is the fifth team foul by the Bearcats here. 10.42 to go in the second. Terriante Thomas will check back into the ball game as Dante Powers heads over to the bench. 
He'll get a high five from his teammates. Seven points for Powers in 28 minutes. He's in foul trouble, though, with four. As the Jacks have it here on the right side, inbound goes over to Ware. On that left wing, Manny Crump guarding him. Ware trying to stutter step his way inside. Good defense here. Oh, he carried it. That's a turnover. He put that ball up too high in the air, and it's a carry. As Coach Mudge saw it right away. He was pumping his right fist over here behind Coach Hooten for the Bearcats. So opportunity here for Sam Houston to try to claw a little bit more back into this deficit. 60 to 53, 10, 30 to go here in this Dakery BB Abbey Realty second half. Bearcats back with it. It's Bryce Monroe trying to drop down to Crump, and Crump was held. He was fouled. The foul called on Charlie Daniels. That's only the fourth team foul here by Stephen F. Austin in this second half. Daniels with the foul. It's only the first foul for Charlie Daniels. So Gavin Kinsmill will check back into the ball game alongside Hawkins as Ware and Daniels over to the bench. Monroe to inbound here for the Cats. He'll find Lampley, long two, yes, at the bottom of the net for Demarcus Lampley. Turn those lights on. 60 to 55. Back over to the right side, it's the Jacks. Got a right-handed dribble by Johnson. Rolling around over to Kakaris. Kakaris feeding down low to Solomon. Solomon double-teamed. Johnson was wide. Instead, he'll elect to pass over the right corner. Back over to Kakaris, left wing three. Kakaris, yes, he can't miss. Kakaris now four of seven from downtown. 63-55. It's Monroe. He'll swing it back. What a pass to Nuttall. The assist from the freshman to Nuttall for two. Back the other way. Right-handed shot. No good. Rebound on the offensive side. And good for Hawkins. Well, Hawkins able to stay with it, and he'll lay it up off the right side. As Calvin Solomon a little strong to get up here as... He fell there on his bottom up against the backboard or against the basketball goal. And luckily able to hop up here. Hopefully he's going to be okay. We'll step aside and take a minute break. 65 to 57, 9.33 to go here in the Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half. Stephen F. Austin has the lead. We'll be back in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Network. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment is proud to now carry Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company is veteran-owned. They are producing premium coffee for people who love America. With every purchase of Black Rifle Coffee, Black Rifle gives back to veterans, law enforcement, and first responders. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, located in the Timberhill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call the shop at 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. Pros bring something extra to every job. Now at the Home Depot, they also get something extra. Pro Extra, our free loyalty program built for pros just like you. Members earn perks with every dollar spent, like Pro Extra dollars, a tool rental credit, and more. New members get $20 off their next in-store purchase of $200 or more just for signing up. Learn more at homedepot.com slash pro extra. New Year. Bearcats back more with rewards. it here is it pay down on the baseline. The Goes back top. Get more Over to Bryce Monroe. Monroe takes a straightaway three. It won't fall. And the rebound knocked around and finally into the hands of Cameron Johnson. Lumberjacks back with it. It is Kakaris from the right wing. He's hot from downtown. Got to watch that young man. Over to Kinsmill down in the paint. Kinsmill has to go back. Calgary's now up top over the left wing to Johnson. Johnson to Hawkins. Hawkins trying to find something from the left elbow. It's not there. Shot clock running down at 10 now. Kakaris to the right wing. Picks up his dribble. Over to Nana. Now to the left wing. Into the hands of Johnson. Johnson penetrating from the elbow. Tries to drop this one off. It's turned over. Here's Nuttall. Two on two. Nuttall gracing his way inside. Lampley for three. No, but Lampley is fouled. And Demarcus Lampley in the act of shooting will go to the line here. Shooting three. Now Lampley was fouled on the play. And that is three free throws coming up for Demarcus Lampley. We've seen him earlier this season, an and one on a three-point play. And again here, Demarcus was fouled. So Lampley at the line shooting three. is an 80% free throw shooter from this Charlie's used car. Free throw line, it's Demarcus Lampley. Lampley taking his time, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot, good at the bottom of the net. So he'll make the first one. Two more coming up here for Lampley. Lampley taking his time. 
Takes a few dribbles. Right-handed shot on the way. Yes. Makes both of them so far. One more coming up for DeMarcus Lampley. As Rati Ware checking back into the game. Heading over to the bench is Nigel Hawkins. For the Jacks, 65-59. Another free throw here for Lampley from that Charlie's Used Cars free throw line. Lampley takes a few dribbles, bends his knees, takes a breath, right-handed shot. Yes, rolls in. Lampley makes all three of them, and he remains a 6-for-6. Six six. Perfect and back the other way. The ball knocked out of bounds, but it's called against the Bearcats. Monroe thought that he knocked it off of a Jack player, and that's not the case, so the ball will... Go here to the Lumberjacks, leading by five, 65 to 60, 8.23 to go here in the game. Kakaris in the backcourt, guarded by Monroe. Crossing over his dribble, trying to get it across half court, and he finally does on the far side. Had to hurry, and he finally got it there. Now back up top, it's Kakaris. Good defense here by Monroe, the freshman. To the right ring, Kakaris trying to drive his way inside. Stepping back, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Kakaris, bounce pass down low over to Kinsmill. Kinsmill in the paint, turn around. That shot blocked by the Bearcats. Oh, as Tristan Igpe threw it up into the air, and that's a shot clock violation. Oh, baby, what a play on the defensive side. Oh, but a whistle here. Oh, my goodness, a whistle and a late foul. Coach Hooten is a livid. You've got to be kidding me. It's a late foul and a whistle against the Bearcats. And Coach Hooten is teched up. Wow, Coach Hooten is livid, and I don't blame him. The Bearcats got it down. What was an apparent shot clock violation, and the foul bailed him out. Well, we'll step aside and take a break. 65 to 60, 7.23 to go here in the second. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphadiralabs.com. That's alphadiralabs.com. New Year's and new deals. Hi, folks. I'm back here with Weezer in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals like a 2020 Blazer and get up to $5,000 in rebate or a 2020 Equinox and get up to $6,250 in rebate. If you need a heavy-duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay. Hurry in today for the best selection right here at Weezer in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line or online at WeezerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new roads. Live from the Copeland Family Dentistry broadcast booth. Welcome back, 65 to 60 year score. And moments ago, it looked like the Bearcats had forced a shot clock violation. That's something that they've done a great job of all season, but a foul here, unfortunately, will negate that. 65 to 60, 753 to go here in this Daiquiri BB Abbey Realty second half of play. We come out of the media timeout. Sam Houston shooting only 40%, eight of 20 here in this second half. They shot 50% in the first. For Stephen F. Austin, shooting nine of 19 in the second half of play, three of six from downtown, five of five from the free throw line. So on the court for the Bearcats, it is Lampley, Monroe, Ikpe, Nuttall, and Javion May. Coach Hooten, Clearly upset earlier with that call. I think uh, the Sam fans that are here, there's a few of them here tonight. Of course, only about an hour and 45 minute drive northeast of Huntsville to make it here if you're from Huntsville. Now, of course, other fans joining from all over the area, not too far from Huntsville though. I want to remind you, if you're out there tonight listening, we'd love to hear from you. That SH, the uh, Sam Houston Bearcat text line is open at 512-522-9105. Again, it's 512-522-9105. Send us a text message and let us know where you're listening from. I thought maybe there was a technical foul that was called at that break. No free throws coming up, though. I, I don't believe that they're going to text that. So the Stephen F. fan's not happy about that. But, hey, if you're a Bearcat fan, you're happy about it because there's no free free throws coming up. The Jacks will inbound it, though. New shot clock here. 
We're on the right side, leading 65 to 60, 7.46 to go. Cackery speeding down low to Kinsmill. That shot stripped away by Nuttall as it goes out of bounds with 18 seconds on the shot clock. So good defense there by Zach Nuttall. Your two-time Southland Conference Player of the Week taking care of business here on the defensive side. Cackle Reese inbounding where? Thought about a long two, now he'll take that long two as he pumped fake JV on May and made it. That shot at the bottom of the net, 65-60. It's a seven-point jack advantage. Bearcats back with it on the left side. Bryce Monroe, the freshman, on the right wing, trying to go inside the paint. He'll take a jumper, steps back. That shot won't fall. Cackle Reese with the rebound. Maybe trying to rush that one a little too much, although he's hit him before. Kakaris back up top to Kinsmill. Back to Kakaris, left wing, guarded by Monroe. Here he'll find Ware. Ware inside the paint, flips this one up, and it's good. 69-60, to 60, it's a nine-point advantage for the Lumberjacks. Bearcats have got to find some sort of rhythm here. It's over to Monroe. Monroe at the top, scathing his way inside. Monroe is tripped. And fouled. It's a six-team foul coming up here for the Jacks, not in the act of shooting. And Dante Powers will check back in here for Sam Houston. The foul was called on Cackleries. It's only his second personal. Lampley will head back over to the bench. He'll get a high five from head coach or from assistant coach Chris Mudge. Here's Bryce Monroe inbounding on the left baseline. Trying to find a teammate up high over to Ikpe. Ikpe on the left wing. Takes his dribble down. Ikpe, spin around. Offensive foul. Charge was taken. And maybe one of those where you kind of sell it a little bit. And the offensive foul against Sam Houston will give it right back to the Lumberjacks. They're leading by nine, 69 to 60, 6.45 to go here in the second. In the ball game. Inbound pass goes to Cameron Johnson. Nuttall guarding him. Johnson on the far side across the half court line. We'll find Kakaris. Kakaris pushing off with the left hand. There's no call as he is guarded by Dante Powers over to the right wing to Ware. Ware inside. This shot blocked by Tristan Ikpe as Kinsmill went up with it. And Ikpe with again with another hefty block here this afternoon. Already had two blocks. Ikpe may have had his third. That is three now for Ikpe. Inbound Kakaris from the right corner. Kakaris inside. Drops it off to Nana. That shot missed. And Ikpe with the rebound. Gets it knocked away, but it's back to the Cats here. Dante Powers in the backcourt. Got to hurry as Monroe takes a three. He wanted it. He got it. Yes. There it is. From downtown for the freshman, Bryce Monroe. Giving a little bit of life here to the Bearcats. That's a Moke and Moke attorney at law three-pointer, 69 to 63, 610 to go here in the ball game. We'll step aside for a minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000 apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the iHeart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. 69-63, back live from Nacogdoches, Texas. The Lumberjacks are leading here, inbounding, moving from left to right. Quick inbound pass to Ware in the backcourt with the freshman Monroe guarding him. It's Ware around to the half-court side to the right wing. Quick pass, Cackleries. Got to watch him on the three-pointers. He's hit him here so far this afternoon. Back up top to Kinsmill. Kinsmill over to the left wing. It's a three-pointer here. No good for Kakaris as he fell to the deck, missed that one. Nuttall wanting to run. Nuttall to the left wing, drops this one off over to Dante Powers. Powers now rotating to the top, back over to Nuttall. 
Nuttall looking from the left baseline, picks up his dribble, drops it down low. Here's JV on May, the assist, and a whistle here. And we'll wait to see what the call is. As JV on May dropped that one in. And I'm not still sure what that call was. As JV on May made the shot. And again, not sure. The, the shot is good by JV on May. 69-65. It's a four-point Lumberjack advantage. I think there was just uh, something going on in the backcourt there, and the officials blew it dead. And now back in action here, the Lumberjacks will inbound. Pass goes from Johnson over to Ware. Ware here on our near side, moving from left to right. Drops it off to Kakarese. Kakarese on the right wing now. Back up top, near half court, he retreats. Guarded by Dante Powers. Over the left wing, into the hands of Johnson. Guarded by Nuttall. Bounce pass goes to, or chest pass goes to Kinsmill near that left elbow. Trying to back down in the paint, over to Johnson straight away. Johnson the right wing, Kakarese. Kakarese will find Kinsmill. Kinsmill trying to work inside, puts up a shot. It's no good, and a blocking foul called against Sam Houston. Boy, the Cats cannot catch a break down there in the paint. And this time the foul called on JV on May. Every time there's a little bit of life here by the Cats. There's a foul back down there. Boy, that could have went either way. And on the offensive side is there was an elbow thrown to the face of Ikpe, and there was no call on that. And Kinsmill at the line here will shoot two. So Gavin Kinsmill, a 64% free throw shooter, the first one on the way, and it's no good. Well, before that, it was a 90% from the line for the Lumberjacks here this afternoon. They were 9, 18 of 20. Missing one there. Kinsmill will have another opportunity. He's now two for three. 69-65, the score remains. 5.04 to go, still plenty of time here in the second. Kinsmill on the right side, takes a couple of dribbles. Right-handed free throw is good. This one at the bottom of the net. And checking back into the game for the Jacks is Nigel Hawkins heading over to the bench is Cameron Johnson. Bearcats inbounding on the right side as they'll let this one roll up to save some time. It's Bryce Monroe. The Bearcats trailing by five, 70 to 65. Monroe will take a jumper, stepping back. That shot no good. Ball bouncing around. It's on the court. Kinsmill double team. He'll find his teammate Ware. Ware has it on the far side from left to right. Here's Kakarese. Kakarese stepped out of bounds, turned it over. It goes back to the Bearcats. Javion May with four fouls. Dante Powers with four. The only one on the court right now, or both of them are on the court with those four fouls. Bearcats have it here, trailing by five, 70 to 65, 440 to go. Monroe will find May. Over to Powers on that left corner, or the right corner, rather. Trying to look back over to Ikpe. Ikpe swings it over to May. Here's Monroe for three. This one won't fall as it goes off the right side of the rim. Monroe had a good look at it. It was a good shot by Monroe, just would not connect. Time running down now, 4.25 to go at a ball game. Lumberjacks leading by five, 70 to 65. Cackle Reese has the inbound pass on the far side, moving from left to right. Guarding him, Monroe. He'll take it into the front court. Cackle Reese with Monroe on him. Now switching over to JV on May, working that 2-3 zone. Over to Kinsmill and now into the hands of Ware on the right wing. Back over to Hawkins. Hawkins from the elbow passes this one to Kakarese. Trying to swing it down and Ikpe throwing. He had this one up in the air. Two oh, they reset the shot clock. It did not hit the net. It did not hit the rim. Wow. They reset the shot clock and that ball didn't even hit the rim. Anyways, it's a missed shot. Back over to the Bearcats. It's Zach Nuttall from the baseline. Goes off the foot. Oh my goodness. Wow. Unbelievable, as they thought it went off the foot of a Lumberjack and instead saying that it went off of Zach Nuttall's knee. And that'll give it right back to Stephen F. Austin. 70 to 65, your score. Lumberjacks have it when we come back. 3.45 to go in the game on the Bearcats Sports Network. 
Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Have you wanted to speak a new language, but thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. 70 to 65 here in Nacogdoches, Sam Houston men's basketball on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your afternoon with us here. As it's been a close one throughout, Bearcats led by one in that second half, and unfortunately the Lumberjacks went on a 10-0 run, and the Bearcats have not been able to get back into it much since then. They've kept it close, but some costly turnovers by Sam Houston. It's just the way this game has went so far. As Stephen Epto has not scored in almost two minutes. They've only made one of their last five shots. The Bearcats on a five to one run over the last three and a half minutes. Cackle though, he has really been the force here for this Lumberjack team. 22 points in 27 minutes. He is eight of 12 from the field and four of eight from downtown. Three players in double digits for the Bearcats. Bryce Monroe, the freshman with 14. He's five of 14 from the field in 22 minutes. Four of seven from that Moke and Moke attorneys at law three-point line. Zach Nuttall also has 14 as he's five of 12 from the field. The Bearcats have only missed one free throw. So both of these teams entering this contest, not very good at three at free throw shooting, 66%, but both of them doing a much better job here this afternoon. So Lumberjacks will inbound. Bryce Monroe knocks it out of bound with one second ran off the clock. So it's good defense there by Bryce Monroe as he came in and it went off the went off of his feet. The Jacks will re-inbound here. It is Cameron Johnson. He'll find Ken Smill here on the near side, moving from left to right, handoff back to Hawkins. He's still in the backcourt. Got to move over across. Avoid that eight seconds. He finally gets it across the timeline. Hawkins has it over the left wing, guarded by Javion May. Inside, this shot blocked from behind. Ikpe has had a few of them here this afternoon as that ball goes out of bounds. That's his fourth block, if that's what it is, on Solomon. Tristan Ikpe just swatted that one out of the house. 12 seconds remaining on the shot clock. As it's Rati Ware inbounding, trying to find a teammate. He'll go way up top over to Solomon. Now with 10 on the shot clock. Over to the right wing to Ware with seven seconds. Six on the clock now. Ware trying to move his way back inside. Three on the clock. Step back jumper from the elbow. That shot up, under, and good. Right at the buzzer, able to drop that one in. Give him credit. 72-65, 3.08 to go. Bearcats trailing. JV on May down to Nuttall. He's double teamed on the right baseline. Back over to Monroe. Monroe inside the paint. The jumper, the shot up. It won't fall. Rebound to Ikpe. Triple team, the shot up. It won't fall, but Ikpe is fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting two. Boy, Tristan Ikpe has given this team, this Bearcat team, some fuel here in this final five minutes or so. He's got to get some teammates to rally around him. Ikpe at the line to shoot two. His first time at the Charlie's Deuce Cars free throw line so far this afternoon. Ikpe only a 58% free throw shooter. We'll see if he can change his luck here. He'll bend his knees, left-handed free throw. Yes, good for Tristan Ikpe. Critical free throw there for the big man. He'll have one more here from the Charlie's Deuce Cars free throw line. Charlie's Deuce Cars customer satisfaction is our number one priority. Ikpe taking his time, bends his knees. The next free throw, this one won't fall. And the rebound goes to Kinsmill. Split the pair. 72-66. It's a six-point Lumberjack advantage. 2.46 to go here in the second half. Rati Ware to the left wing, guarded by Monroe. He'll swing this one over up top to Kinsmill. Kinsmill has it. 
Not all with great defense. Still holding on to it, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Now a shot here by Hawkins. This jumper no good. The position there for Kinsmill, and instead it goes to the Bearcats. Zach Nuttall wanting to push. Three on two. He'll go over. Dante Powers thought about a three from the left corner. Now he'll take it. Powers, this shot won't fall. Oh, man, Powers was wide open and just shot just would not fall. That's been the night for the Bearcats here. 72-66, six-point Lumberjack advantage. And a timeout is called by... Lumberjack head coach Kyle Keller. We'll take 30 seconds with them, 72 to 66. 2.06 to go here in Nacogdoches. Bearcats trailing. We'll be back in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Network. Hot Rods of Texas presents the winter Conroe Swap Meet in Car Corral. February 19th through the 21st at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Gates open to spectators at 8 a.m. with plenty of free parking. <laughs> This is the largest automotive swap meet in the area. For more info and vendor requirements, go to HotRodsOfTexas.com. Put it on your calendar and don't miss the Hot Rods of Texas Winter Swap Meet. Gates open at 8 a.m. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, February 19th through the 21st. 72-66, Stephen F. Austin leading here on their home court at William R. Johnson with 2.06 to go here in the ball game. The Bearcats trying to find some sort of life here. Lumberjacks, though, will have it to start this possession. Time definitely not in favor of Sam Houston. Now they've got to put together a run. As you know, talk about this Lumberjack team, though. They're still only one of their last seven shots. But somehow able to still stay into this ball game here. As the Bearcats have not been able to hit either back on their side. Where has it on the right wing for the Jacks? Up top over to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Nuttall, trying to penetrate inside. Right wing shot up and good. 74-66, Bearcats trailing, 148 to go. It's Dante Powers, Dante to the right side. This shot up, no good. He's, boy, no foul call as he hit flat on the deck. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with Sam Houston with nine seconds ran off the shot clock. So Bryce Monroe will inbound this ball on the baseline under his own rim on the right side. Monroe over to Nuttall. Nuttall inside, flips this one high up into the air, and a charge. Boy, the Bearcats cannot catch a break here this afternoon. As Kinsmill was set, and Nuttall with the offensive foul. He was moving. <laughs> wow, saw it on the replay, Kinsmill was moving. But that's the way it's been tonight. 74-66, ball back to the Jacks here with 1.37 to go. And inbounding here is Johnson over to Cacklerese. Cacklerese in the backcourt, guarded by Dante Powers. So he'll work his dribble, trying to get across center court, and he does with 1.29 to go in the game. 74-66 lead for Stephen F. Austin Cacklerese. From the right side, over to the left wing, Johnson. Johnson trying to go inside, he loses the ball. It's picked up, no, not all can't hold on to it. Solomon has it, eight seconds on the shot clock. Kakarice over to the corner to Johnson. Kakarice doesn't realize there's only four on the clock. He'll turn around here, bounce down low at the buzzer. That, boy, I didn't think he got it off and a shot clock violation is the call. So the turnover here on a shot clock violation will go back to Sam Houston. Trailing 74 to 66. It's not all will inbound to Monroe. It's the clock now at a minute even. Bearcats have got a score here. Monroe has it on the right side. Shot up and good for Bryce Monroe. So he had to weave his way through traffic. 74-68. Lumberjacks with the advantage with 56 seconds to go. Dante Powers and Nuttall trap it to the backcourt on Ware. The pressure is there. Cackle resell to the left side. He'll float it up. Alley-oop, slam it down. Cackle Reese to Kinsmill. That'll get the crowd on their feet. 76-68. Here's Monroe for three. That shot no good. Cackle Reese with the rebound. Figure the Bearcats here with intentional foul before too long. But they're not. Time is running off the clock here. It's an eight-point advantage for the Jacks. It's all the crowd on their feet here tonight. Cackle Reese has it left wing. Bearcats will not intentionally foul. 
Kakari still with this dribble, five on the shot clock, moving inside. Kakari swings it over, got a teammate wide open, laid it up and good. And with seven seconds on the shot clock, Dante Powers will work inside. He'll throw this one off the right side. The shot's no good, and that'll do it. 78 to 68, the Bearcats fall their first loss in Southland Conference play of the season. And a 10 game winning streak is snapped here in Nacogdoches. Heartbreaker here in Nac. We'll step aside and take a break. Post game coming up on the Bearcats Sports Network. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment is proud to now carry Black Rifle Coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company is veteran-owned. They are producing premium coffee for people who love America. With every purchase of Black Rifle Coffee, Black Rifle gives back to veterans, law enforcement, and first responders. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment, located in the Timber Hill Shopping Center right next to Harbor Freight at 111 Interstate 45 South in Huntsville. Go on by and see them or call the shop at 936-439-6727. Bullets, Blades, and Concealment. Pros bring something extra to every job. Now at the Home Depot, they also get something extra. Pro Extra, our free loyalty program built for pros just like you. Members earn perks with every dollar spent, like Pro Extra dollars, a tool rental credit, and more. New members get $20 off their next in-store purchase of $200 or more just for signing up. Learn more at homedepot.com slash pro extra. New year, more rewards, Pro Extra, only at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Free COVID-19 testing is available now locally. Alpha Dira Labs are providing drive through COVID-19 testing now at the Walker County Fairgrounds and at University Heights Baptist Church, 2400 Sycamore in Huntsville. Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to 2. No appointment is necessary. Valid ID is required. Lab results will be sent via text or email within 24 to 48 hours. Free drive through COVID-19 testing with Alpha Dira Labs. To register and get more info, go to alphadiralabs.com. That's alphadiralabs.com. New Year's and new deals. Hi folks, I'm back here with Weezer in Huntsville. And as we bring in the new year, we're making new deals. Like a 2020 Blazer and get up to $5,000 in rebates. Or a 2020 Equinox and get up to $6,250 in rebates. If you need a heavy duty truck, we've got them coming in daily. Don't delay, hurry in today for the best selection right here at Weezer in Huntsville where we are home of the bottom line. Or online at WeezerHuntsville.com. Chevy, find new road. Courage. Integrity, perseverance, commitment, not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. This is Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty. Communication is key when it comes to a successful real estate transaction. Putting my clients first and helping them through the entire process is my passion. I know the neighborhoods in our community and those who live in them. I serve and volunteer with numerous organizations because I value Huntsville. You may have seen the iHeart Huntsville interviews or read my articles in the paper. I'm Daiquiri Beebe with Abbey Realty and I'd be honored to be your next real estate professional. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. Well, points in the paint just a little too much this afternoon for Sam Houston as they fall their first loss in Southland Conference play. Comes on this eighth game of the Southland Conference for Sam Houston, 78-68 here in Nacogdoches. 40 points in the paint for the Jacks, only 26 for Sam. We talked about the matchup in pregame that this team has a, a lot higher matchup as far as that goes on the height side for Stephen F. Austin. That's what they're known for. They can score in the paint. They did it again here tonight. And Sam Houston on a three-game skid now versus these Lumberjacks. They lost the two last year and then, of course, this one here. So there will be one more meeting between these two teams at Bowers. That will be coming up on the final game of the season. We played here, of course, last year on the final regular season game, and so we'll return the favor.
line. So Monroe, the leading scorer here in this ball game. Zach Nuttall behind him with 14. And then also Demarcus Lampley had 10. So Demarcus Lampley, his streak of 20-point games was snapped as he's averaged over 20 uh, the past six or seven or so, but just could not handle it here tonight. 78 to 68 is your final. We'll be back on the air Monday, tomorrow night, with the Jason Hooten Radio Show. You can catch that live from True Texas Barbecue. So make sure to come out and join us at 6.30. We'll talk to Coach Hooten. We'll definitely talk about this game. And, of course, we will talk to a player as well. Again, 6.30 at True Texas Barbecue in HEB in Huntsville, Texas. And then after that, it's Sam Houston on the road for, or back at home, rather, for three games starting February, facing Nichols at 5 o'clock on the 6th, then southeastern Louisiana on the 10th, and then central Arkansas on the 13th. Once again, your final here from Nacogdoches, 78 to 68. Sam Houston falls in this ball game again with their first Southland Conference loss of this season. The Bearcats will fall to 13 and six overall, seven and one in the Southland. Stephen F will improve to 10 and three and six and one in Southland Conference play. Big thank you to Carlos Zimmerman back at K Sam Studios. My beautiful fiance Bridget Brennan for helping out as well as Cody Stark and all he does here at Sam Houston alongside Jason Barfield. Steve Ricks, our Director of Operations, and Dave Donahue, General Manager at KSAM. Friends, that'll do it for tonight. Reminding you, as I always do, that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. Good night, and God bless from Nacogdoches, Texas. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or 